Ellis is Scotty D from Takeovers.net, and we're sitting here with the Duke of the Wicked, Violent J, the Southwest Strangler himself, Shaggy Two Dope. Yes, sir. And uh, we've got a ton of to topics to cover today, so let's get started. All right, let's start with the Juggalo March because that's probably the most important thing we've got going on this year. Yeah, it's the most important thing ever we've ever uh, done. Not just this year, man. Right. It's like it's like a whole career shit. You know, right? you know what the term Lyanda means? Lyanda. Mm -hmm. I all remember Juggalo of the Enda back in the day, right? Yeah, this yeah. is fucking my end. This all is or all nothing. or nothing. This mm -hmm. is like either going to, you know, help or maybe embarrass and destroy us. You know what I mean? Well, that's what I was going to start out with. So so let's start with the what the main idea behind the march is. Um, okay. how, what do you ultimately hope to accomplish by, by marching? Okay. Um... People, well, as you know, people are out there getting fucked up because of the gang affiliation thing back in 2013. You know what I'm saying? People are getting fucked up over that shit. We know it because we can't even find a place to have the gathering on the West Coast because every time we find a place, um, they swoop in and say it's a gang rally. You know what I'm saying? And like, if we can't find a place, we can't get insurance for it there. You know what I'm saying? We can't get insured, and then they're like, we can't have it because we can't get insured because the insurance people think it's a gang rally. So this is the reality, you know what I'm saying? And I know that there's thousands and thousands of jugglers that are like, I never had nobody fuck with me or discriminate against me, so I'm straight, you know what I mean? Well, that's you. That's you. There's you know, mad amounts you. of people that have. There's you know mad saying? people that have, you know? And um, if 10 people have, right, that's enough to fucking march, in my opinion, for all of us, you know? Um, another thing, another reason it's helpful to Juggalos is this is a once in a lifetime thing. You know, saying this isn't gonna happen every five years or every 10 years, we're not gonna do it again in 20 years. This is a one-time thing, you know what I'm saying? Who's gonna go march on Washington, right? With possibly two, three, four thousand Juggalos and not remember that for the rest of their life. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's a fucking awesome memory. You know what I mean? And I know people think, oh, they're gonna go there, they're gonna wild out, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna fucking get arrested, everybody's gonna be smoking weed and getting arrested shit. Well, we haven't even, like, it's like, so I look at it like throwing shit in the ring at, at wrestling. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everybody used to do that. Until we said, look, it's up to you if you wanna throw shit, you know what I'm saying? But we have to tell you that you make the rope sweat and the wrestlers can't climb the ropes and can't do the shit they want to do, and they get their uniforms all wet, and the matches suck. Mm -hmm. So if you want to throw shit, go ahead, but you're not getting as good of a show. You know what I'm saying? And after that, they start chanting, don't throw shit, don't throw shit. Well, it's the same way, you know? If we want to actually make a difference and get some respect, because here's the other thing, and I don't mean to ramble, but a, lot, man. A, lot of, a lot of Juggalos don't care about the image of Juggalos. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck. Like, okay, so Juggalos are laughed at and goofed on and fucking dissed on by the media and the rest of the rest of America, rest of the world. Juggalos, fucking inbred idiots. You know, ICP fans, nothing more, nothing less, but a bunch of stupid fucking people that listen to that garbage, right? That's that's what people's perception is. We can't kid ourselves. You know what I'm saying? I know you go to work and hear that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we know it. We're fucking. We live this, just, you know, this is the reality of what people think. And um, we care about the legacy of Juggalos, all right? Like, it's never been nothing like it in the history of rock and roll. There's been whatever you, you know, whatever the fuck hippies were. That was a style. This is something unlike anything in the history of rock and roll. And Juggalos are innovative in the sense that they find, they seek out and support strongly awesome fucking acts you know what I'm saying? It, 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 juggalos ain't an icp thing no more you know what i'm saying juggalos is his own entity now you know what i'm saying juggalo there's juggalos out there that don't even bump our shit they just listen to shit from the whole juggalo world you know what i'm saying and uh and just the fact that the group of juggalo, the juggalos as a group are getting shit on you know what i'm saying somebody's got to stand up and be like let's do this you know because this march isn't about icp it's not about Bands from Juggalo bands. It's about Juggalos. You know what I'm saying? There's artists that look at Twisted. All right, they make a living raising their kids. You know, paying off their houses. Probably paid them off. Right? F touring, releasing albums, selling records. They're from Detroit. Okay. There has never been, to my knowledge, even a review or an article 
in the weekly. Nothing. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like they say, oh, that's Juggalo. You know? Right. It's like there are artists that tour coast to coast, Canada, Australia, in the Juggalo underground and get completely ignored. Now, if you're capable of making a living off your fucking music, right? And you're able to tour, make a living off that shit, you're like respected in this industry. Not juggalos, not juggalo artists. Those are fucking amazing artists. A lot of them have surpassed the juggalo world now. I'm talking about Tech Nine, mm -hmm. Ritz is rocketing up, you know what I'm saying? Hobson, you know what I'm saying? And then a lot of artists came down and landed in the support of Juggalos. Two Live Crew, you know what I'm saying? Vanilla um, Ice. Vanilla Ice, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, Mac 10, you know what I'm saying? These guys got like a second wind from Juggalos, you know what I'm saying? From Juggalo support, you know? Juggalos are fucking amazing, man, and they deserve respect. Even if a Juggalo out there is like, I don't give a fuck if we have no respect, I don't wanna march, you know what I mean? I don't care if they say we're a gang, I don't care if they say we're fucking child molesters, I don't give a fuck. Well, you don't have to come, you know what I'm saying? We're not mad at you if you don't come, you know what I'm saying? This is for the ones that do care, you know what I'm saying? That, that are fucking upset by that shit and say, you know, we, we don't think it's gonna change anything. We just wanna say, fuck you back, man. You know, we're not cool with it. Cause I mean, the fact of the matter is, I mean, we're, we're officially still on the gang list, you know what I'm saying? Because they never came out with a new one with us not on the list. There is no so gang list. It is dropped it, but it was dropped with us still on the fucking list. You know what I'm saying? This is a way, you know, it's just a way of saying Juggalos ain't a gang. Juggalos and even if there people. was a gang list and we weren't on it, okay, we're not on it no more. We're still seen as a gang. Maybe we're number 15 now, you know, but there is no list no more. You know what I'm saying? But because they, no, they, they took it back. Right, they won't show you. without saying Juggalos aren't a gang. You see what I'm right. saying? And is that what you're looking what, what you're hoping will happen? No, that, we don't, I don't think nobody's going to take us off the gang nobody's, list. Nobody's going to do that. At know, least man. the media, because we're hiring a publicity team and all kinds of shit, a team, all kinds of shit, right? That's going to fucking work this thing as loud as possible to say, we're not cool with what the fuck you're saying. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How can that not be helpful to Juggalos? Right. We're not cool with it, man. It takes more than us to do a fucking... A fucking infomercial and say, hey, we're not cool with juggalos. You know, it takes the fucking juggalos to gather in mass and be like, we're not fucking cool with it, man. And and groups that are supported by juggalos, you know what I'm saying? I mean, there's like groups out there that solely just sell to juggalos, you know what I'm saying? That that's the kind of people that we're we're trying to look out for, you know what I'm saying? They should all pay back the love of juggalos and help build the fucking reputation of juggalos. And and the biggest tool to that is it's a two-part tool. It's the march itself, right? The two-day concert, possibly three-day concert, right? Of all the bands that are actually juggalo bands, not fucking stupid ICP fans. Fucking a movement, a subculture, all right? That's what we're trying to show the world, you know, America, whatever. This is fucking amazing, you idiots. This is fucking dope. Right, this this is ICP. not ICP fans. These motherfuckers are a movement that support all kinds of musicians, you know what I'm saying? That have launched these stars that are now on MTV and shit, way before MTV ever knew about them. You know what I'm saying? Way more creative and fucking seeking out dopeness before any mag magazine or fucking any of that shit. World star or anything. You see what I'm saying? It's on fake lovers first. Right. You get what I'm saying? We're trying to show that with the cypher. You know, everybody performing on the march will, will perform on the cypher. And the cypher probably 20 minutes long, maybe. We don't, right? Because everybody's going to do 16 bars. But think about that, man. And we're not talking about us all in a big circle. We're talking about going to each person's location and filming them. Look at the, the way these artists that Juggalos love. Look at the different looks. Some of them are face painted. Some of them got dreadlocks. Some of them are normal looking. Some of them are fucking old legends. Some of them are brand new fucking spitters. Look at all the talent. What's that cypher gonna be like? You know, like when, when I heard Necro was down to play the fucking, yeah, I'm a huge Necro fan. He fucking kills it, man. And like thinking when Necro's verse comes on, how fucking hard that shit's gonna be. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I, I, I envision the cypher as like a main tool that our publicity team is gonna work to say, this is what Juggalos are about. Mm -hmm. And ICP's just gonna be somewhere in the middle. You know, or and you know, not we're not gonna kick it off or end it. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna be just somewhere random. Mm -hmm. 
doing our verse, sharing our fucking 16 bars. You know what I mean? Like we're another Juggalo act because that's the reality of it. Juggalos may have started, the name Juggalos may have started with us, mm -hmm. but we all know it's much bigger than that now. We know, they don't. And I just want recognition for the Juggalos. I don't give a fuck about us. I know our history. Mm -hmm. we're, gonna go, we're going down as the world's most hated. That's cool, I'm cool with that. I don't give a fuck, my kids college paid for it. Right. <laughs> You know so what I'm saying? in the beginning of the interview, when we started talking about the march, you said that the march will either basically make or break us, right? So, what factors do you think, like, what's what is it going to take for you to to call the march a success? Three thousand people, two thousand people. Right. That yeah, looks a good, massive. A good turnout of, of, of motherfuckers out there getting along, showing love. You know what I'm saying? Marching, not acting wild. See, we're right. going to put an infomercial out, telling everybody, begging everybody, basically, you know, be cool, man. Like. Let's all march with dignity. Right, during the Prove day, them wrong. You march know what I'm saying? Like soldiers. You know what I'm saying? At night, fucking, that's when we get our party on. You know we, what I'm saying? Let's save your tension for the fucking show, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Wild out. Get high, drunk, whatever, you know. But like when we march, they're watching us. They want us to fuck up. They want us to prove it, that they're fun. right. And then we're dumbasses. Let's just show them or not. Let's march with anger and dignity. But let's contain ourselves. You know what I'm saying? That's what we're going to say in the infomercial. We got a lot to roll out still. It's a long way from September, you know Absolutely. what I mean? So uh, since 2011, you've received letters and heard stories from Juggalos, uh, personally affected uh, by the gang label, right? Um, what stories of discrimination, of discrimination that like stuck out most to you? They're all on the website. Yeah, where There's up? all kinds of them. I mean, I guess the most recent one, when we were just doing meet and greets on the Riddle Box tour, what that, that that chick was a uh, probation officer. That's what was the scariest thing about this, all right? Uh, it's because so it was right officer. on our fucking papers. Yeah. Our walking papers. Yeah. It up. was like significant evidence that you, you know, you're a Because they went to our Facebook and saw her painted up, you know what I'm saying? Shit How like you that. Fire somebody, man. For fucking bumping our shit and being proud a of it. Government job. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna fucking do that, man? How you gonna tell somebody you can't get in the military? Then they turn around, get the fucking tattoos covered up, come back, and they're like, you still can't get in? We remember you had the tattoos. Like, right. what? Yeah, we got you written down. Motherfuckers who's, them all whose them. older brothers have gone in the military, whose father and grandfather have gone in the military, heritage military men, you know, mm -hmm. women, fucking try to get in the military and get stopped. Oh, you're a juggler, you listen to that shit? Get the fuck out of here. How can that be, man? Like, where in history, where's the Calvary? Where's fucking Matt Tabal or whoever the fuck writes for Rolling Stone, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. where, the, where the fuck is the people like, you know, oh, you know what they're saying? Oh, that's happening to Juggalos? Who gives a fuck? Right, they're just Juggalos. We they're just Juggalos. They probably are gangsters. Right. Mm -hmm. How foul is that, man? Unbelievable. How are we just going to be cool with that? How are we just going to be like, all right, you know, if we don't do nothing about it, we might as well be that and just ride it out. We ain't shit. Right. Who wants to live like that, man? Like, we need to stand the fuck up and say, fuck you back, man. We ain't having this shit. That's our slogan. We ain't having this shit, man. Like, you know, fuck you back, man. To me, it's it's very fucking important. So, I know... To this us. Is, to, every, to all of us. Yeah. So, uh, I know it's been squashed in the past, but a lot of jugglers wrote in and asked, will this still double as the official gathering? No. no absolutely not. No. Okay. Not at all, man. We, I think we almost got a place locked down in, in Colorado. Let's hope so, right? Um, it, it might be it might be a smaller place. You might have to you know people. It might it might not be as big as we're gonna as get where what we, we can get. <laughs> we're gonna get what we can get. You know what I'm saying? And plus, you know we you know it might be time for a smaller place. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's it's a lot going on in our world. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so we've seen the current list of artists who have been invited, who have accepted, who have declined. Yeah, and we haven't sent anything out of the wish list yet. That's what I was gonna ask. Do you have? Other artists that are Thou hundreds, okay. you know what I'm saying? The big names, you know, big big artists that might stand up and say, "Man, that's fucked up." You know what I'm saying? You never know. But then again, we're not even considered musicians. You know what I'm saying? And people know Juggalos basically as ICP fans, mm -hmm. so that pretty much gives them the same respect we get, which is none. You know what I mean? Damn near none. We've had some good stories come out about us. You know what I mean? But sure. you know. We don't get invited to shit. But <laughs> well, we're gonna cover a lot on uh, on ME &E, uh, here coming up in, in a couple of minutes. But uh, what was your first reaction on Magic Ninja Entertainment uh, completely declining the march as a label? <laughs> no surprise, <laughs> honestly. Like I expected yeah. that at any second. I expected it any second. We would have been surprised if they would have said yes. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm they, we they, they signed a contract. 
like, see, first they said, um, this is back in, um, after the gathering, 17, um, I guess it was September, mm -hmm. we, were, we were trying to have a meeting with them, because we, we were like, listen, we were trying to have a meeting to plan out some dope shit to do for 2017 together, because we know that's what people want, you know what I'm saying? And um, they were like, um, we were like, man, I kept texting George and I'm like, fucking, you know, you guys come to the office, we'll sit down, we'll fucking good vibes and we'll come up with some dope ass shit to do. You know, we got some good ass ideas we want to run by, you know, please bring everybody, you know what I'm saying? And um, the day came, George came alone with some dude, you know what I'm saying? We're like, they wouldn't even come, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't even come meet us. Like, I, I don't, you know. There's a, a whole lot to that shit, but anyway, so we rode with George, and I told George, I want to tell you the history. I'm not sure if you're entirely sure. We had to go to get something from my house, so I said, let's just talk on the way to my house and back in the car, you know? And I, I told him, I said, I'm not entirely sure if, if what version you've heard. I don't know anything anymore regarding Twisted, you know what I mean? So I told George, who always seems to be a sensible dude, you know? I'm always like, he used to work for us, you know? When Twisted was, was with us, he worked for us. Nice guy. Super nice guy, you know? So I'm like, um, do you know the history of how Twisted got, you know, signed as psychopathic and everything? And I basically told him everything, you know, in case he might have been hearing something different. I don't know anymore, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I, I don't know the Twisted of today anymore. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. Like the shit they're doing, anything's possible, as far as I'm concerned, you know what I mean? So I just told George all that. And then I was like, um, you know, tell him to play the march, man, you know. To, oh, and I asked him a question. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't want to start rolling on this shit. But we used to have a thing with Twisted. When we first signed him, first came up with the name, we named him, you know, we kind of brainstormed, you know what I mean? And I was like, it should be Twisted something, Twisted something, you know. We came up with the name, just Twisted, that's dope, you know. And, um... We went through different looks. looks. Monster masks, all types of shit. All kinds of cool different looks, you know, masks, fucking crazy shit. And um, when we first started touring them, you know, it was like, fuck you, you know, everybody was like, what, man? You know, because all they juggled those new was ICP, you know, and they all said we're bringing out two new other dudes with paint on, rapping about similar style shit. They're like, get the fuck out of here with this fake shit, you know? But we, I can't even, I don't have the time. I honestly, I swear to you, brother, I every don't have the photo, fucking time. Every photo shoot, every interview. We wouldn't everything. do it. We wouldn't do a photo shoot without Twisted. We told this one we were fucking platinum. We were like, Twisted never, Twisted never toured in a van. You know, never, never left Michigan. You know what I'm saying? First time they ever went on tour was with us in a tour bus. The first time we finally reached tour bus status. Right. You see what I'm saying? First time we ever fucking earned that tour bus, they came out. You know what I'm saying? Straight local dudes. You know, and, and so they owed us, you know what I'm saying? We were giving them everything we had. We were like, everything we got, like, oh, look. Like, everybody's looking at us, we're like. And this this ain't this ain't major label money, you know what I'm saying? We're like, ah, here you go, take a couple. You know what I'm saying? This is like struggling money, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, let's take a buddy out of our fucking personal pockets trying to push this, you know what I'm saying? Every radio interview, every fucking photo shoot, everything we did, we were trying to put Twisted on, you know what I'm saying? Like, trying to expand the brand, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make, you know, psychopathic the shit, you know what I'm saying? And so we just focused and focused, and I look at it like we fucking busted in the side of the wall. You know, like, big, big ass brick wall, we got them in. Like the cool and once they got in, people fucking heard Most Tasteless, and they fucking loved it, and once they actually started listening, you know what I'm saying? Like, it took years. You know what I'm saying? Probably two years to seriously get them in the door, in the door, you know, non-stop touring, talking about Malenko, House of Horrors, Europe, <laughs> you know Europe saying, twice, I think, all kind of shit, you know what I'm saying? We got them in though, you know what I'm saying? It worked, you know? And um, anyway, we used to have a joke with them back then, because they used to be, I used to be like, there's one thing we want in return from you guys. One thing we want in return. And um, and it was funny. It really was funny. We used to be like, we want to know that you guys are good for a 16, a hot 16 on any artist we're trying to put on. 
And that was just to help funny. Put them. Yeah, to help yeah. put them. I, that was actually funny. It. The thought of them not right. doing that. It was yeah, like joke. they were like, "I'm fucking sure, you know, like we're not doing, like we wouldn't do that for you." And I'm like, "No, nah, one day you guys are gonna be all fucking, you know, fuck you guys, you know." And they, it was actually funny. It was an ongoing joke for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, and then you guys are gonna tell us to fuck off when we try to put somebody else on. You know what I'm saying? And it was funny. It really was funny. So when they didn't show up to the meeting and I was reliving everything in my mind, telling George all this, I, I thought about Blase Rose, all right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and it dawned on me and I was like, man, she's getting a lot of hate on the internet. You know what I'm saying? We sure could use a hot 16 from Twisted on that album. Not that I'm asking. I asked George very specifically, very clearly. I said, I am not asking this because I wouldn't do that. I, all the hate she was getting, I would never ask them to do that. But I said, ask them, because I was mad that they didn't come, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, and I was here to be living the memories and everything that, that, you know, all we try to do is fucking kick flavor for 2017 and wouldn't even come hear us, you know? And I was like, and everything's so beautiful every time we see them at the gathering, it's like, oh, you know, everything good times, it really is, it's like, Nothing changed, you know, it's all love. And the right, second they go stuck, home, it's right. back to fucking, you know, you know, a big ass wall between us. again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And um, I said, George, ask them, and I'm not asking this. I was very fucking clear. And whoever the fuck that kid was in the back seat knows, heard it too. I was like, I am not asking this. But ask them if I was to. Here we are all these years later. You know, they're on their own label doing their own thing. We sure could use a hot 16 on Blase Rose's album. If I were to ask that, which I'm not, and I won't, but if I were, would they do it? You know what I'm saying? Would they do it? And also, you know, the march. Are they doing the march? What's going on? And like, I don't, I can't remember. I think like four days passed. George texts me back. Um, Twist is not playing the march or doesn't want to play the march, doesn't want to have any involvement in the FBI, uh, the Bible or whatever. And um, Twisted says, no. Twisted says they'll be happy to do a verse with you anytime, with you guys, but uh, they reject the offer to be on the Blase Rules album. And I was like, I didn't ask them, man. Number one, I didn't fucking ask them. I said, if I were, just, just, I don't know what I was going for. Maybe a little love, I don't know. Maybe like, yeah, if you, if you would ask us, we'd help you. You know what I'm saying? We love you guys. You know what I'm saying? No, it was like, even if you were to ask us, we'd say no. But that's not even how George came back. Yeah, but they, I mean. He was like, we say no to the Blase Rose. And I was like, I didn't ask that. Right. And I wouldn't do that. They, they never did or attempted to. There's no question. If they asked us to be on one of their artist shit, man, and I. Fucking hard. We anybody on the label. We do they, it. We, we do it. Honored. Honored. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Like, they're asking us to do that shit. Word up. Anyway. Yeah, so, um, the, you know, and I just thought, ain't that the shit, man? Like, that shit was an ongoing joke for a long And he said, yes, they remember the vow. I said, do they remember the vow? I kept saying, ask them, do they remember the vow? The vow was a motherfucking vow. You know what I'm saying? That they would always give us a hot 16 on anybody we're trying to put on. And I thought about a roster, and I'm like, man, people are giving, you know, it's not, sh she's selling great. Nobody knows that, though, because they go by the internet shit, you know, what's going on on the internet. And they all, like school of fish disser you know so i thought hmm i know twisted lives on the internet you know what i'm saying and uh i wonder if they would have our back if we were to ask that you know what i'm saying very and, and no they wouldn't and that shit fucking really hurt so then i was mad and i'm like how the fuck you know how the fuck you gonna say no to the march you know forever about that other shit you know what i mean how you how you gonna say no to the march how the fuck you know all this shit and my brother jump steady rob was like man look they left. They don't want to have to come to your meetings no more. They don't want to have to come every time you call a meeting. And I was like, but it was about positive ideas for two, and he's like, still, any reason. They don't have to come to your meeting. That's why they left. They want to be independent on their own. And that made me look at things different. Like, okay, I get that. I do get that. Why should they have to come? I get it. You know what I mean? So, I reworded the entire, I wrote them a big, huge thing on text and I was like, look, um, the, the reality is, unfortunately, 
the same people that support our shit support your shit. You know what I'm saying? The same people. And the, I think we both realize that the reality is if you guys don't play the march, you're probably going to catch heat. You're probably going to catch a lot of people like, what, why the fuck ain't you playing the march? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I'm sorry that it happens to be like that, but, you know, this is reality. This is what we're, this is the situation we're dealt. And, you know, we're doing, and you not wanting to play the march is not enough reason for us not to do the march. You see what I'm saying? Like, in other words, we're doing the march. Like, you're, you're going to catch heat. Right. We're doing the shit regardless. We're doing the shit with or without you. We're doing the shit, and that's the reality. So we hope you'll consider playing it. That's the reality. And um, George was like, oh, yeah. Then they, then they wrote back and said, um, I don't remember how long, but they wrote back. I, don't, I mean, I don't remember how long they debated or whatever, but they wrote back and said, um, Twisted will play the march, but no Dark Lotus and nobody else from the label at this point. You know, just Twisted. They'll do one set at the march. They don't want to come to the march. They don't want to come to anything. They'll do one set at the march. You know, I'm dealing with George. You know what I'm saying? These were our fucking homies. You know what I'm saying? We don't live like that, you know what I'm saying? We, anyway, man. So when um, we were happy, you know, we were like straight. And I remember talking to George, you know, on the, t on the I was fucking talking to him all night till the motherfucker fell asleep, a couple times, straight up, like just overexcited, like, man, we can, you know, you guys can contribute an album, and we can contri contribute out. We can put the commemorative fucking Juggalo March box set together, you know what I'm saying, of all new music, you know, so you can have this souvenir, you know what I'm saying, from only available at the March type of shit, you know what I'm saying. You can help us cover some of the cost that we're fucking losing out our ass for fucking all the shit we're losing, you know what I'm saying, the fucking mandatory fucking security, mandatory cleanup fee, rental of an amphitheater for two, possibly three days. Fucking the staffing, the fucking publicity team. And all the PA and the stages for like speaking at the march, all that shit. You know? Everything, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all fucking very expensive, you know what I mean? And we're like, you know, maybe we could like, you know, do like a t-shirt, commemorative t-shirt or something, you know what I'm saying? I'm just talking to George, he's like, yeah, we can, you know, all that shit's possible, you know what I mean? Until he's not answered no more, you know, I did it a couple times. Like, I was just so geeked that they agreed to play it, you know? And then, um, um, We, we, the Gathering 17 was off the hook, and um, then we, we, we got to 2017, and um, they fucking signed a contract. They signed, they signed a contract to play with us, yeah, to do the march, they signed a contract, you know what I'm saying? And they, like, they were totally on board. And then, you know, we're gearing up for 2017 to launch all this positive karma, because this is how we look at it. And I'm almost done with my ramble. No, no, it's all good. Yeah. This is how I look at it. Um, a lot of Juggalos been watching the St. Cloud Posse for 20 years, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, especially in 2017, 97 was like when we really broke. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? We, that was our first platinum record. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that records went out and sold too many records, you know what I'm saying? And so did Jekyll Brothers, you know what I mean? And like, that was 99, so like, a lot of people been watching a long time, you see what I'm saying? <clears throat> and the way we look at it is like, I can see the age in my face when I look in the mirror, you see what I'm saying? I can see my age fucking setting in my face. I'm like, we're doing this shit for real forever, you know what I'm saying? So like, knowing that, right? Years are going by. Let's take 2017 and switch shit up. Let's make it all about fucking positivity and freshness. You know what I'm saying? Instead of always being on some wicked shit, always focusing on being alone and outsiders and outcasts and all that. Let's just let's bring celebrate together. each other. Let's yeah. fucking, you know yeah, what I'm let saying? Again, let's let's let the results of 2017. Let's let makes 2017 so dope. Right? For all of us, not, not us, everybody. Right? Let's put that message out. Like, go for your shit in 2017. You know what I'm saying? Like, some job you always wanted, start fucking moving toward it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we meet juggalos at Mean Grease that are like, oh man, I wanted to go to the gathering for 15 years. It's been my dream. We don't understand that. We're like, fuck, man, you just paid for half the ticket right now to come back here and say that to us. What is the, it ain't on Pluto. Why don't you go? Like, you've been trying to go for 15, 15 years, years man. you know what I'm saying? It's not an unachievable goal, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, we're just like trying to sp spread the message, like, 
Get yours, man. You know what I'm saying? Gain the way you need to gain. Lose the way you need to lose. You know what I'm saying? Fucking get out of that bum ass, dead ass fucking relationship. That ain't shit. You know what I mean? Leave it. Start something. Leave that bitch ass job you got that you hate. What are you doing there? You fucking hate going to work every day? The fuck, man? You ain't, you know? Leave it. Fuck. Wild style. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be so determined to find another one because you can't pay your bills. You might like the new one. You know, change everything you don't like about your shit. You know what I mean? In this year, let the results of this year last. You see what I'm saying? Like, let, let, we look back on 2017 like, man, it was dope. You know what I'm saying? It only comes once a hundred years, 17 in the calendar, you know? So, so you left off with, with Twisted agreeing to play. So, I yeah, contract side. Yeah, so 2017 rolls around. So we're gearing up all this shit for New Year's Eve. We're going to show the, you know, because basically our roster became shambles. You know what I'm saying? Boondocks, everybody, you know, it was shambles. You know what I mean? So we're like, we got a, our roster all locked down, a new roster, a new team. Everybody's 17 in. Everybody's fucking feeling it. Everybody's on board to the fucking fullest, our team right now. So we're about to unveil all that. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to unveil a song, you know, Hurricane of Diamonds featuring the new squad, the new fucking team, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to unveil, allegedly, the infomercial. You know what I'm saying? Which ended up having to take a little longer, but I think it's coming on Monday. Right? Yeah. It's coming on Monday. Yeah, yeah, so, so out right now. Yeah, right, exactly. Um, <laughs> anyway. Check it out, man. Huh? <laughs> so, um, we're getting ready to do all that, right? And, you know, this, they announce on New Year's Eve out of the blue. They don't even say they're going to announce anybody, but they announce, on, it's like all of a sudden fucking throwing a fucking Molly Tough cocktail into our party. You know what I'm saying? Poof, we're signing Young Wicked. I'm saying now, I know you know the story of Young Wicked. Like, I'm fucking 44, bro. 40 fucking four music industry, 20, too many years, right? Nobody, nobody, no record executive, no artist, nobody, no fan, nobody has ever betrayed us halfway as much as Young Wicked did. All right, what he did to us. Nobody had that much. It's just utterly, I'll start shaking. You understand what I'm saying? Like, to think about that. All right? And when Twisted fucking announced that shit, they did it on New Year's Eve. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that, you know, it was just like the, it wasn't a, they had slapped us several times. Slapped us, shit you don't know about. You know, Cole slapped us in the face several times, and we're always like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Family love. You know what I'm saying? Family love. Always like, keeping it together. Just we be mad talk amongst each other. Don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? But publicly, family love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> family love. You know what I'm saying? I'm and not even kidding. If we didn't keep it together, it would have fell the fuck apart a long time ago. Our whole you know fucking saying? struggle is all I can see is fucking the tattoos on people's backs of the Hatchet family all together, Dark you know Lotus, what I'm saying? Lotus. Dark Lotus and shit, and I'm just like, family love, family love. It, 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 like, the, the, the struggle to keep family love since they left, just un-fucking believable. Unreal. Behind the scenes, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And, um, fuck man, when they did that, that was like the, um, it became no longer like, we worked too hard, bro, to get here. We still work every single day. What do you think? We're not abandoned. Like, let's take a year off and regroup, you know? Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's go to Hawaii. We go, where do you go every day? So, where do you think I go? Psychopathic in the studio? Every right? day yeah, we so. go to work. Every day we go to work. Every fucking day we go to work. You know what I'm saying? We still work to, to uphold and maintain, you know what I'm saying? And keep entertaining these people that we fucking love and die for. You know what I'm saying? No, I know that, yeah, I know that Young Wicked left or was fired. I don't know exactly what what, what went down from Psychopath. He was, he was fired as an engineer. Okay. He left the label. Right, okay, so. Which is you're, insane, you're, you're, which is insane, yeah. by the way, because we should have kicked his ass the fuck off the label. We should have kicked him in his ass. I was on my way back from Chicago when, when my brother called me at nine in the morning. I'm like, what the fuck? Nine in the morning, you know, I had gotten up early to leave, right? He called me at nine in the morning. He was like, I don't know if I can get too personal, but he was like, um, did you know anything about this? 
And I'm like, Do I know anything about what? And he said, Otis and Samantha. And um, I fucking, fucking had a panic attack. Like, I had hot tears shooting out of my eyes. Like, I had to fucking pull over. He called me, I was like, I can't be true, man. You know what I'm saying? No. I didn't know what hurt me worse. That my brother had asked me if I knew about it. You see what I'm saying? Like, as if I knew about it. Like, I don't know what hurt me worse. Or the fact that Otis, but then when Rob explained it, he, he's losing his mind right now. You know what I'm saying? And he's in shock. Then I understood. You know what I'm saying? He also thought, for some reason, he heard that Joey knew. Yeah, because me and me and uh, me and Otis were in the studio every fucking day working on my record. You know what I'm saying? And like, yo, my wig was blue harder than anybody because he had that shit like, fucking a lock. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like a, every day. I mean, we we get personal as fuck. You know, my boy, my homie. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand? Like, like no, it was like my brother. You know what I'm saying? It was I, like, I think Rob covered most of that. Yeah. yeah. And where I was really going with it is, do you think that they knew the extent of what? Uh, how here's here's the you? worst thing about them signing Young Wicked, all right? The, the, the most painful thing for me, I don't know about you, but for me, all right? Think about this. The most painful thing for me is they know, both Twisted and fucking Otis, they know, this is the hardest part, man. They know that they hated each other. Oh, man. Like, Axe Murder Boys got hate from Twisted like you would never from believe. Day one. From they day one, Twisted was like contest day. winners, fucking two juggalos is what they are. They're, they got no stripes, nothing. And we were like, fuck you, man. That's a that's a um, full-bred juggalo right there, like born and raised to juggalo music. Like this is second generation juggalo shit. You see what I'm saying? Like this is dope. This, this They're going to grow up to be fucking uber talented you know what i'm saying crazy fucking you know we believed it like you know we're like shit that's dope that they were born and raised on juggalo since i'm talking about like we came up on michael jackson and prince right. these motherfuckers came up on juggalo shit right you know and not, not only not only would they like refuse to work with them all that shit you know what i'm saying they hated them they you hated them they wouldn't let them in the studio and it, like, yeah, it, it, like it, at first, you know what I'm saying, like like A and B were just like, yo, what the fuck, you know why they hate us so Well, bad. they didn't have the stripes to hate back, but right, they exactly. did, you know. But by the time Otis was working for us at the end, he hated the and, and they were pulling all the shit. Twist was pulling the, all the shit up, the smacks. Man, Otis was the most vocal motherfucker right. about him. He dissed him on the fucking uh, his album. Yeah, Slaughter. What on Slaughter he did a song yeah. about him. About how, you know, you used to call me the drunk and now you're the fucking alcoholics and all this shit. Dissing the shit out of him, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was the most, that's what hurts the most. Like, for real. It's like, <laughs> it's like a motherfucker. To me, I don't want to sound too graphic or fucked up. I'm not homophobic. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm not supposed to be. But they're like, that's like saying, hey, you guys, check this out. And sucking a dick. Knowing the only one seeing it is us. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sucking a dick in front of you because I don't care what the fuck you think at all. I'm going to suck this dick in front of you because I don't care at all. I'm not gay, but I'm going to suck this dick just to show you. Just to I show you, I don't give a fuck what your opinion is of me. Like, them two, Twisted and Otis, had one common bond. Hatred for us is what we, you know, has to be. Wild. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Like all of a sudden, like within a week, I think, after the, the shit happened, he's in a fucking jersey at a show. <laughs> right. You just like what the fuck? Bro, is that? that was they like hate each other. And this is like, the word I have for you. Gross. Alright? I don't even use that word. Gross. It's fucking disgusting. It's like just fucking utterly gross. And just a fake like, shit. Like no imagine. dignity. You know, sucking a dick. You're not gay, you're sucking a dick. You hear what I'm saying? If you're gay, yeah. fine, suck a dick, whatever. I'm talking about you're sucking a dick and you're not gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? Like, disgusting. I told you I'd be shaking about this shit. It's fucking disgusting. Okay, so we'll, we'll let's, uh, let's move a little bit forward. Um, still at this point, after they signed him, they were still supposed to play the march, correct? Yes. Yeah. So what happened to where they they officially declined? 
Oh my God. Okay, after they took that photo, I remember texting George, okay? And I'm saying, uh, he remembers the text. We were on tour and I said, brother, you know we've always fought to keep the harmony. You know our number one goal is to keep the harmony. We've put up with countless shit to keep the harmony. I said, I'm afraid you guys are about to make a move that is going to disrupt the harmony no matter what we do. There's no way to avoid it disrupting the harmony. Mm -hmm. Please don't make that move. Please rethink that move if you're about to do it. And he knew what I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? And they did it. They didn't do it right away. They announced it on New Year's Eve at the worst time for us. You know what I'm saying? Right before our website opens up about the march and shit. And you know, and I guess I guess maybe they have a problem with us, you know, putting all the names of everybody that, that rejected it. We love that about it. You know, we said it at the seminar. You know what I'm saying? If you got love from Juggalos, pay it back. You know what I'm saying? These these are fucking great people that are getting fucking discriminated on by the government. Fucking what? You're not gonna fucking pay him back? Like we're trying to get him to march to get him a better reputation. We're trying to do this cipher to for everybody to see how fucking colorful and vast the juggle of the world is, right? Why wouldn't you be a part of that? Why would you we're putting you right on blast that you that you said no. You know what I'm saying? Because there's you look at a juggalo march website, you don't see ICP, you don't see the hatchet, man. It's nothing to do with it, it's a juggalo march. You see what I'm saying? We're, we're financing it, trying to organize it, because we've had the most juggalo love for the longest. And on top of that, nobody else would. And if we don't do it, who the fuck's right. going to do it? So we're trying to organize it. Yeah, people look at it like it's, it's something for us. You know what I'm saying? That's the exact what we're trying to change. is to Because it, it will benefit us. It'll benefit everybody. If you see how fucking dope the juggalo world actually is, how big and, and fucking... Supportive they are of all these artists and dope shit. You get what I'm saying? It's like we're trying to show that with these concerts and all these bands saying, "Hey man, fuck you." We get that love too. You know what I'm saying? And look at this, look at this uh, cipher. All these colorful artists spitting, killing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like how can that not be helpful to Juggalos? You know what I mean? Okay, think about this. How many people, you know, 18 year old badasses, right, would see that cipher for the first time and be like, damn, some of those motherfuckers were dope as hell. And, and at the end, see, this thing helped us stop the FBI's criminal profiling of Juggalos as a gang. And they'd be like, and that shit is so bad, it's outlaw? I gotta be down with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's what we would have did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We'd have been like, that shit's against the law? I want to be down, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're just thinking, you know, it can help everybody in every way. Not just grow the juggle of the world, but fucking get us respect. Like, people look at that cipher and be like, I had no idea. I didn't know Tech Nine was some juggalo shit. Because Tech Nine is real clever with the way he words himself. Yeah. He makes juggalos happy. You see what I'm saying? But only juggalos know he's doing that. Mm -hmm. He's real clever. He's the shit. I love Tech, but... He don't say juggalo, you know what I'm saying? I think he said it in once a cipher or something once, once yeah. yeah. And that was it, you know? But he don't say it like on his new albums and shit, you know, because he's got like a lot more going on. You see what I'm saying? I, like surpassed, he has people love him. He got songs on the radio. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? saying? So, he, so he don't want to come and say, hey man, I'm a juggalo and I'm gonna fucking show up at the march for the juggalo and be on the cipher and everything. Cause, they, Cause that could make all his fans that aren't juggalos be like, you part of that shit, you know? Mm -hmm. that. that Dumb ICB shit, you know, because that's why they know it is. Right. So, I mean, maybe maybe Tech will do it. I don't know. I'm not saying he's not gonna do it. I was gonna ask if there's anybody on the on the list that. I beg Tech. I fucking right. text him. I can show him my phone right now. Dog. It's almost pathetic, you don't man. Want to see that. <laughs> I'm just like, man. I, I, I I'm not even gonna get into that. Tech is Tech is okay by me, by us, you know. So, but. If, are there any artists that are that have not that, that have already accepted that are not yet on the on the march list? Like any surprises? You know what I mean? No, no. Everybody. No. What you see is yeah, what nothing's you gonna be, there's gonna be no surprise. Okay. Surprise people that ended up like that. There's people right. that accepted before the march that I fully explained what it was in full detail, and they already accepted. You know what I'm saying? Right. Jelly Roll, Lil White, Vanilla Ice, they all accept. Which is amazing. Yeah. 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 
Yes. I told him, I was like, man, you could, you know, this could. They were gung ho. They weren't even a horse. I told him, I was like, this could, like, you know, you got all the TV shows and shit going on, man. Are you sure you want to, like, you know, think, just think about it. Don't say yes if, you, if you're just saying that to be cool now and not do it. He's like, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. You know, I'm like, are you? I'm in. I'm in. I'm like, straight. That's the shit, right? I mean, to us, that's just awesome. All right, so you mentioned before about Young Wicked uh, leave, or, or joining Forces with Twisted because they some, have some kind of similar hatred towards you. All right, look, Young Wicked and his brother have been with us 15 years. You know what I'm saying? 15 fucking years. Um, they won that contest. Everybody, Juggalos hated them. You know what I'm saying? Um, we stuck by him. You know what I'm saying? We stayed by him. We... We uh, dropped them at one point because the record didn't do so hot. And we were like, it's just not going to work. There's nothing there. Like, there's no, you know, we're in the theatrics and shit and fucking characters. And, you know, there was just nothing. It was like, I, I felt like Juggalos were like, they're just Juggalos that got, won a contest. Like, I'm not going to, I don't want an A and B tattoo. Yeah, you know, I don't want to be down. Like, I'm not going to support them like that because they're just lucky Juggalos. You understand? Yeah. I'm being keeping it real. Like that's what it, that's what it seemed like. But we were still cool as fuck with them. You but know, like yeah. when we heard their second album, we put them back on a label. We we're like, man, you guys are growing. You guys are getting really fucking good. You know, we signed them back. Like it was like they never left. You know what I'm saying? Put that out, and then um, and then they're working on the third one forever. You know what I'm saying? And we're like, we need something. We're suggesting all this shit. You know, like. I remember suggesting to him, so you know, hit a creative wall, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I remember saying, like, um, I suggested they called the Garcia Brothers, you know what I'm saying? And I remember telling Otis, Otis, what about, what if Bones, I think somewhat, I guess, I guess along the lines of Outcast, but I was like, what if Bones, Bones, you always wear those looks, you know? What if you always stayed gangsted out, but Otis, you always had a different fucking t-shirt on, you know what I'm saying? Like, every time they see you, you got, like, an interesting t-shirt, you know what I mean? Like, something interesting on it, like... We'll just constantly get interesting t-shirts for you. So every concert, every photograph, you got an interesting t-shirt on. Like Curly from the Three Stooges. You know, crazy shit, you know what I mean? And they just were like, eh, 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 eh. for a minute he's like, yeah, that's not good, never did it, you know. Anyway, time went on and um, they put the Garcia brothers out and um, Otis just was the, the more talented. One. He was just shining like a motherfucker out of that. Yeah. You know, and he was engineering and driven, you know beats. What I'm he was making beats. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Kuma um, took a position that we couldn't match. He, he got offered to, to, for editing, you know? And he didn't want to leave music really bad. He, thankfully, he's still with us. He works with us to this day. But, um, like, it, it's freelance now. You know what I'm saying? He was full-time with us, now it's like freelance. But it's, it's the same. He's still there for us. He's our boy. You know, thank God. But, um... We need like a full-time engineer, you know what I'm saying? And Otis just kind of slipped right in there and fucking learned. Like, call Akuma every day when he had a question, you know what I'm saying? And fucking rose to the ranks, you know what I'm saying? And um, we were like, we want to do a solo album with you, you know what I mean? And um, as we're making the music and shit, we're like, we're, you know, Twisted's gone, Boon Boondocks is gone, you know? But Otis was like, me, me and Joey just kind of took him on as, everybody, the label, just kind of took him on as like, he's young, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he's crazy talented. Like, you pick up a guitar, play it, you know what I'm saying? And like, just learn shit. It was really, really good. The beats were really fucking good. Like, some of them rivaled Seven shit, you know what I mean? Like, they're really fucking good, you know? And um, we just embraced them. As hard as you can. As hard as we ever did an artist. You know what I'm saying? Like, promoters stopped paying for psychopathic artists to come on tour with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'd go on tour and they'd be like, who are you bringing? We're like, da 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 And they'd be like, those are your bands. Nobody's coming to see them that's not coming to see you guys. You know, we, we there's, there's no budget for them. You know what I mean? And this became the case. You know what I'm saying? Like, so we had to pay the acts out of our pocket. You see what I'm saying? And of course, you know, um, the, the industry changes and CDs are no longer 
the way music is sold. Music is barely sold anymore unless you got a hot single on iTunes, and we don't, we're not a singles group mm -hmm. or a label. We don't have hot singles on the radio. Anyway, we're just adjusting to everything, you know what I'm saying? But we took Otis under our wing, and we did everything we could for him. You know what I'm saying? We put him in Killjoy Club. You got fucking Mafia 6 and ICP 2 Platinum RX, Stick Young Wicked right in the middle, you know? Everything we could do for him. You see what I'm saying? I loved him. I told him something I've never told an artist, not even twisted, all right? Okay, this may sound crazy, this probably sounds fucked up, but I've never failed a real goal. I'm not talking about, I wanna fuck this bitch, she's so hot, you know? I'm talking about like a real goal in my life. I've, I've been fortunate enough, I never failed the goal, like a, a, in my heart goal, you know what I'm saying? Like a long-term goal. And I told Otis, I said, it's my goal, my goal, because he constantly talk about his fiance being his savior and his fiance changing his life and getting him off alcohol, you know, and, and how she's in Denver, you know, and, and he just wants to buy a house in Detroit and, you know, and, and work with psychopathic, you know, and, and um, raise his kids, you know. Be a family, all that good shit. You, you know, know and, and I said, you know what, brother? <clears throat> Two things, man. And I meant it because this is the relationship, how close the, the relationship had come, you know what I'm saying? And he was so there for us with everything going on with Twisted which nobody knew about, but like the, you know, the, he was like there, loyal, you know what I'm saying? And um, he, um, I told him, I said, it's my goal to see you in a house, you know, with significant money in the bank. Like I wanna see you own a house with significant money in the bank and I'm not gonna stop till you get there. You know what I'm saying? I made it a goal of mine. And it was very real goal. Very real fucking goal. You know, like that's my next goal. I'm gonna work toward that. You know what I'm saying? Until you have that. You know what I'm saying? And um, we were gonna open a website. You know what I'm saying? That had, cause he had produced Missing Link, Lost and Found, our last two albums. We did a great fucking job. Like we got like endless compliments on those records. They weren't our best sellers because CDs just are dying with every album, you know what I'm saying? But people just loved them. Like, we got great results out of, like, like we went on an in-store tour. People were just like, fuck, the, the beats on there, the music, you know. They just loved it. Like, we just got, a, to this day, we get a great response. Actually, Found is, is a better response than Lost. And we thought for sure Lost was going to, like, the, as much love we in for Lost, we thought Found could never hang with it. And Found somehow has come to, anyway. Um, we, um, I don't remember my thing, but I don't know why I'm talking about Lost and Found. Anyway, he, oh, we were going to open a website, you know what I'm saying? After, you know, because he had done so much shit now, so many beats, that we were like, we're going to open a website under Psychopathic Records where you can buy Otis's beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you like ICP's beats? You, here's, his, here's their producer. You know what I'm saying? Beats. You know, you can have the same producer as ICP. You know what I'm saying? We know there's, a, I mean, we get fucking demos every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? So we knew a lot of ninjas would be like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? And they would be buying, and we were like, we don't want a penny off those beats. Those are yours, that's to help go for your goal. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Gave him a five dollar raise. Um, um we had a documentary coming. Yeah, we came up with the what he was. The the idea, the, the gimmick, what he was, is like the prince of the wicked shit. Pick up any instrument and master it. You know? We were gonna exaggerate a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But like, we were gonna like we had this whole thing, you know, they had put out like, do you know, before they came to Psychopathic, they had like five actual pressed up albums? A and B? Yeah. Yeah. Like, these guys, they came at 18 years old. They already had like five, they came at 18, yeah. right. five fucking CDs out, mm -hmm. pressed up. Like, they've been doing it. You know what I mean? And we're gonna show all of that. Like, we had every, you don't have respect had, for this motherfucker. Look at all these albums he did before he even we had came all here. All our cannons loaded, all our guns cocked, just in that direction, and blast ready to out, fucking you know? blow Young Wicked up. The documentary. I remember the main thing about it was 
he's not going to say a word. It's just going to be people talking about him. You're going to see footage of him working in the studio, you know, everybody talking about him. He don't say nothing, you know, and it's just going to, it was going to be great for him. You know, we had all this shit unraveling, you know what I'm saying? Unraveling. And, um, you know, my brother did the video with him, you know what I mean? And, um, we were just gearing up to just say, fuck it. This is about ICP, Blase Rose, Young Wicked, and Hoodoo. You know what I'm saying? That we know for sure. This is who we're rolling with. This is who we're sticking with. Who, this is who we're supporting. You know what I mean? Love or hate them. We don't give a fuck. This is our team. You know what I'm saying? We wanted a female forever, you know? And um, anyway, <laughs> I, it's just hard to fucking understand. Apparently, when I was on my way back from Chicago, Rob explained to me, you know, in between my fucking repeated panic attacks, that three months ago, um, his daughter told him that she kind of went on like a date with Otis. You know what I mean? And Rob was like, what the fuck? Listen, this motherfucker has a baby's mama fiance that he calls his savior. I hear about it every day. You know what I'm saying? Every day he's driving him to the office. He hears about this shit. Like, Otis just, you know, I love her so much, you know. We also know Otis fucks bitches on the road, okay? But, you know, so did we when we were his age. You know what I'm saying? But, like, and he's got another baby's mama, okay? And Rob's, like, telling his daughter, absolutely not, man. I want better for you. That's his daughter. What? Like, the whole thing fucking is just staggering that they went on a date, like, what do you, I couldn't even fathom that shit. You know, him sneaking around with my brother's daughter. You know, our fucking little brother, man. Our homie. We fucking... And um, that was three months ago. And Rob, and so Rob told his daughter, I forbid you to see him, man. He's got a girl, a fucking fiance, man. You're not going to be his local fucking piece. You know, sit the fuck, stay away from him. You know what I'm saying? And then Otis came in the office the next day. He's like, I guess we got to talk. And Rob shut the door and was like... Fucking, look, man, no offense, but I want better for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Then be your fucking squeeze in Detroit. Fuck that. You know what I mean? Like, stay away from my daughter. I'm not going to tell nobody else here because he knows it would have fucked our heads up. Just the date. We're, 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 this ain't epic records, man. We're fucking small family up there. We're fucking family. Is is These motherfuckers, I grew up with these motherfuckers, man. There's... Count us on one hand, man. You know what I'm saying? We're a small family up there. You know what I'm saying? And it's just nauseating to think about this motherfucker, man. And he fucking... So, Rob said, I fucking forbid you to see my daughter. You know, don't even fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Ever again, I'll kill you, man. You know what I mean? Like, are you fucking out of your mind? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to touch. I'm just going to let it go. You know what I'm saying? Because he understood everything we had going on and he figured you know maybe it wasn't really a date maybe it was just like they're hanging out I don't know whatever I don't know but he never told us about it you know what I'm saying and uh three months I well, guess yeah but but Otis was like bet never again <laughs> yeah Otis was like absolutely never again I swear to god that it was not even like that it was nothing like that never again you know what I'm saying and uh three months went by and uh my brother went to Cedar Point with his family, he was on the way back, and his, and his daughter was, I guess, feeling emotional and wanted to admit what was going on. And his daughter fucking admitted that um, she'd been seeing Otis for three months, you know what I mean? And uh, that's when Rob, you know, I guess he found out that night, I don't know when he found out, but he called me, you know what I'm saying? And um, it's like my back of my head is fucking I just can't even explain the betrayal in that. You'd have to know us. You'd have to ride, ride with us. You'd have to be one of us. You know, I can understand people grew up with shitty families. Maybe that ain't shit to them. You know what I mean? Something like that. Not in our world. You know what I'm saying? We have each other. We fucking came this far together. You know what I'm saying? It's just this sickening. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I remember I called Michelle Sugar Slam, you know, my ex-wife. She's like my best friend, you know. 
And I remember telling her, and I was crying and shit, and I was like, Billy's, Billy's up north on vacation, so you have to bail me out of jail, you know, because I'm going to kill him, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, first she tried to talk to me not to kill him, you know, and I was like, um, I wasn't going to kill him. I was going to beat the shit out of him. I wanted to beat the shit out of him and literally throw him out the front door of the office. That's what I wanted to do. She was like, um, you know, she was like, don't, you know, and I was like, listen, that's who I am. That's what I have to do. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck where I'm at now. This is where I'm from. This is what I know. And I have to beat his ass. It's what I must do. Okay, that's who the fuck I am, man. I'm not afraid of it. That's who I am. That's what I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I'd be sick if I don't. Anyway, four hours later, I got home. I picked my brother up. You know, I, and he's like, you know, you shouldn't do that. You know, you, uh, he said, I'm going to be there to make sure you don't go too far. That's what he told me on the phone as I'm going home. You know, make sure you don't go too far. I'm going to be with you, you know. And I said, Rob, I can't believe you don't want, you know, anyway, that's another story. But, um... Anyway, when we picked him up, we started, when I picked Rob up, you know, we were both really shooken up, and, and he was like, you know, I don't, I don't think you should do that, you know, and I got really mad, we pulled over the parking lot, and he was like, and I said, the only way I won't do it is if you tell me not to, and he was like, I'm telling you not to, and I, I, I honestly, I still don't understand it, but I love my brother, you know what I'm saying, so, anyway, um, you know, we just fucking, Crazy craziness. So um, cooler heads prevailed. You know what I mean. A little bit. A few days went by. We went by. Oh you know, oh, we went to see we went to see Otis that night. We went to. I said, you know where he's at, because he wasn't at the office. And I said, you know where he's at. You know he's at Samantha's. So I told my brother. I said, I know where he's at. You know he's at he's at Samantha's. You know what I mean. And so we drove over there. We're both sick. In our stomach, Rob goes upstairs, Otis is laying shirtless next to Samantha. He's like, wake, wakes his ass up, get out here, you know. Comes out and um, Rob had a talk with him, I don't know what he said, you know what I'm saying? And um, Otis got in the car with me, because I told him I want to talk to him too, you know, don't, don't, don't just talk to him and leave him up there, you know. And I didn't know it was Otis, I was texting and um, I thought it was Rob getting in, you know, and then I heard what's up, I looked over and it was Otis and I just fucking resisted. And I said, you know, he's like, everybody's got it twisted. I said, did you fuck her? And he's like, I swear to God, I never fucked her. I swear to God, Joe, I never fucked her. I never, ever, ever did that, you know? And I said, get out, you know? Because I know that if he never did, Samantha would have said that. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, that was the last time I saw him. A week later, oh, we, cooler heads prevailed, and we were like, look, You can you can stay on a label, but we don't want you working up here no more. You know what I'm saying? But you can stay on a label. Rob doesn't want to see you. You can record out at my house, at my place. I have a studio at my place, you know? And I said, Rob's going to take some time, going to need some time. We're all going to need some time, you know, but you can record out there, you know what I mean? If you want to, you know, stay on a label and everything, you know? And next thing you know, he's fucking... Next thing you know, he's in that picture with Twisty, you know what I'm saying? And he's dissing us. He's dissing us. He was like, what happened? This is fucking crazy. He was like, what happened was between me and Rob and shit and everything to do with business. And I'm like, you and Rob? That's my niece? That's nothing to do with me. That's nothing to do with my fucking brother, you know, you're sleeping around with my brother's daughter and that's got nothing to do with me. How's that work? How the fuck does that work? How the fuck, like, where are you from to think that? You know what I'm saying? That's got nothing to do with me. I, I couldn't even have a brother if you're sneaking around with my niece. It's just so fucked up because I, we know what kind of man he is. You see what I'm saying? And want, we want better for Samantha. You know what I mean? And that's the most painful thing about it is. Then when he turns around, he could have said shit about us. I mean, he could have said, like, "What?" He could have said, I, "I, I fucked up." You know what I'm saying? Never took that route. Yeah. He could have said, "I, I fell in love or something." You know, I fucked up. Never. He just immediately started talking shit, like as if we fucked him. 
You're talking right. about on New Year's Day after it was announced signed to be signed when he said something about not being able to afford to feed my family or whatever in 15 years. Yeah, he said, um, yeah, you're going in the future, but thank you because I'll, I'll give every little detail. Um, yeah, on New Year's Day he said that, you know, thank, thank God I can finally feed my family now, you know. Which is <laughs> fucking so fresh. Okay, um, it's just repulsive. It's just, and, and for Twisted to fucking embrace them and say you're one of us because you hurt them like that, it's just too much for us to handle. You know, it becomes a, it, it's crossed over to a point now where it's not real at all. You understand what I'm saying? Like, to get up on stage and do Dark Lotus with them, knowing that they're doing that to us, it's not real. It's not Dark Lotus anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's not even that. It's like, yeah, we should keep business, business. Fuck you, man. This is, we love what we do. We work hard. You know what I'm saying? We love it. We're real when we're on stage. That's real passion. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. Very emotional, very passionate on stage. You know what I'm saying? That strips all of that. You know, I've read... Uh, yeah, it boils it down to the point where it's not even fun doing it no more. Now you're just doing it for business, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's no way to fucking, you can't be up there on stage perpetrating like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Think of all the autobiographies we've read where bands can't stand each other. Right. They fight, you know, and then they have different dress rooms, different buses, and they get up there and rock together. I've always thought, how the fuck, how the fuck could you share such an experience hating a motherfucker? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's never been a job to us to perform. Even, in my worst shape, fucking, but you know, I still, you know, well, performing was fine. About... It's like sex, bro. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna? Have, it's like, it's just a. It's just... So you mentioned Dark Lotus and having a hard time performing that. Does what does that mean for Juggle of Day since that's been billed as the headlining show? Well, you know, it's gonna sell a lot of people. Shit, you know what I'm saying? But um. They cross the line to us. They, they we're not willing to. Um, we're not willing to. Um, they want to. They do want past the point of no return with this. You know what I'm saying? It's like we can't. We can't. We can't be honest. It was a double whammy, man. It was. It was two things. Too. Too powerful. But actually, it's one. It's. It's really for me. It's Young Wicked Otis. You know what I mean? You fuck with him. You ride with him like that. That was a struggle. There's no shortage of talent out there, man. There's no shortage right. of There's no reason why you couldn't fuck with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to grab. The pool is fucking big, man. Bro, we have one enemy in this world. Think of that for a minute. In this entire fucking world, we have one enemy. One person I truly hate. All right? And that's who, you, you know, it's just too much. You know, it's just not, can't do it, you know. I just don't want to do it. Doesn't it? We gotta stop pretending. We can't. We can't keep fooling ourselves. We be you know cheating everybody, man. We right. be doing it for money. We be doing it for fucking. You know, it just wouldn't be. It'd be a horrible experience. That's how I feel right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it'd be a horrible experience to get up there and do Dark Lotus with them. You know. Do they know that they're not? Well, I assume that that means they don't. Of course right, they you know. Told we them. fucking been telling them okay. constantly. Like you that can't. Not, you went too far. We're in constant and the fact that not, the fact that they're not they're not doing the march, you know what I'm saying? It's like, how are you gonna come out and do Juggalo Day, you know, and say, yo, we ride with Juggalos? This is Juggalo Day for the Juggalos, but you don't you're not gonna do the march. It's you know like standing with your legs spread, with your balls hanging out, and they ran up with a fucking Gore-Tex boot and kicked us right in the fucking nuts, right? That's what fucking what Otis is like. And then when we're on the ground, spitting in our face, that's what dropping off the march is like. You don't have Juggalo support, Twisted. You know what I'm saying, really? You're not gonna play the march? And then uh, Paul tweeted something like, um, somebody asked me if he was gonna be, play the march, and he said, if there was one good thing for Juggalos by doing the march, we would be there, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is nothing good comes out of the march. It's just all bad. It's just all bad. It's just all negative, right? right? That's what it is? That's just insanity to me. Like, yeah, we yeah. don't understand him no more. We but, don't know him no more. 
And of course, they're gonna try to spin it on something that we did. You know what I'm saying? Because of us, you know this, that. And it, it, I mean, we, what, got, we, we got nothing to hide. You know what I'm what saying? Did, did they give a reason? I didn't no, know no I'm they saying did. they probably will. Oh what yeah, I'm, saying. I'm sure it's you know. Even if it fucking was something we did, it's still worth right. doing the march. Exactly. It's nothing to do with us. It's about fucking juggalos, man. Giving them a better name, like giving them a better, giving them get earning them respect out there, man. You know what I'm saying? Number one, we're a fucking gang. You know what I'm saying? That's never happened, man. We we have to at least say fuck you back. We can't just say okay, we ain't doing shit. Okay, we ain't shit. Okay, you know we have to fucking. Fucking the people that care about it have to fucking do something. How can you know whatever, man? Anyway, yeah, we're sorry, man. We're we we're, we're we're sincerely fucking sorry to every juggalo out there that we're letting down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're just we're just kind of doing like we're letting it happen. What they kind of wanted to happen when they split up with us? They that's go the thing, way. bro. We, we're we, we're going. Hey, you go your way. We're going our way. You know <laughs> There's, what I'm saying? That's the we're thing. We're done holding the thread together with them. You know what I'm saying? Because it's us always holding the thread. We're the and I was like, thread's gone. You do you. We're gonna do us. We ain't changing shit. How we do it? You know what I'm saying? That's exactly it, man. They 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 they. Come on, man. They fucking made it this way. You know what I'm saying? Anything, they you, know anything us. you've seen with ICP and Twisted since Magic Ninja came about is because of us making it happen. You know what I'm saying? That's the behind the scenes realness. You know what I'm saying? It's us having to fucking beg them and fucking pay them ridiculous money, give them masters to fucking records and shit to make that shit still happen and put on the facade that we're still cool like a family. You know what I'm saying? And that couldn't be anything further from the truth. Now we're just cutting them fucking cords and be like, yo, you did this, do you, homie. You know what I'm saying? They, you us. can blame us. Cause we're not doing it no more, but they're the ones. They know us. They know we can't fuck with them. They know that's too far. And they can come at us with anything they like. Well, they did this to us. They did that to us. No, we listen. got nothing to hide, man. No, no listen. Saying, open book. Bam. This is the deal. We know. This you know? is the deal. When Twisted was with Psychopathic, did we ever make mistakes? Fuck yeah, we did, man. We made huge mistakes. We fucked up a lot. You know, maybe five major times, probably in the 16 years they were with us. You know, I remember one time that they put out an album, we didn't order enough, and, it, and they wanted to chart, you know what I mean? And it sold out, and we didn't order enough. I don't know what the deal was behind that, if we didn't have the fucking funds or what, but maybe we just underestimated it. I don't know, but it was a huge mistake, and they took great um, disdain for that, you know what I mean? And um, who knows what else they did, because they've never told us, you understand? But... We made mistakes. Nobody showed us how to do this. You know what I mean? It, especially with the world changing and the fucking evolution of fucking CDs dying out. You know, we, we're trying, man. We're fucking trying. Just makes mistakes with us. You we fuck up ourselves all the time. ICP. We fuck ICP up all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like we're, we're trying our best, you know? And the main thing about it, and this is what I want to say, okay? When young Wiki wakes up in the morning... And, when, and I believe, to the best of my knowledge, when Twisted wakes up in the morning, them dropping off the march, them doing the things they've done to us that made us so we can no longer perform with them, okay? We no longer want to do anything. And we don't want to do Twisted one night and us one night because we don't want that kind of energy. We just want to fucking leave, separate, you guys go, good luck. Right, not worry about what matters. Not, we, we don't want to look, we're not going to get no diss war. We just want to let them go, man. Go do you. Now that we're not fucking with you, I can feel the weight lifting off my heart, man. You know what I mean? Like, go do you, man. Go do you. Sign, you know, they can't get any worse. You know what I mean? Do you, man. Like, we don't want to watch you. We're not going to pay any attention. We just want to do what the fuck we're doing. Ride with our team. Fucking make bomb-ass products. Do bomb-ass events. Keep it moving like we always have. You know what I'm saying? And for those that love Insane Clown Posse, you know, we're right here. We're going to keep bringing it hard, like really hard. But it, the, that era, as of right now, is over, man. And we ain't sitting here saying, don't buy Twisted shit. Don't Fuck go to no. the shows. You we're know not what? saying don't support them. If you love them, love them. We're not going to be mad at you if you come at us with some Twisted gear on. Right, right. That don't mean shit to us, man. Because that's part of our legacy as well. No you know doubt, man. We're fucking, you know, they're smart men. They're fucking running a business, you know, they're not lunatics, they're not crazy, but there is something powering them 
then I believe it's a false light, man. It's a, it's a bad energy. It's like, why would you do that to us? Why would you fuck with him? Like, why, like how, does, how does Otis wake up every day and go to the studio invigorated, excited, knowing how the fuck he did, you know, and to talk shit about us? Like, not say, man, I did him wrong, you know. Instead, you know, how can he, let me ask you this, how can he stay here with them, letting this crack happen? Letting the 20 fucking whatever year saga of Dark Lotus and everything else end because of him. Why don't he man the fuck up and get the fuck out of here, man? But he stays. No, and it's all because of him, man. Is that not fucking insane to you? Like, wouldn't you have any dignity for these people that you fucking grew up loving and be like, you know what, I'm the cause of all this drama? I'm fucking out, man. Thank you for the love, Twisted, but I can't do it. I can't be the cause of all this. Even though they're saying, no, stay with us. We don't want to fuck with them. This is going to make them leave, you know? Whatever it is. It's like, how could you sit there and be the fucking kryptonite to all that beauty, man? You know what I'm saying? And just be cool with it. Every day, I'm fucking Young Wicked. I, I'm the reason all this shit died. How, man? It's like, what energy is in you? Like, like when we wake up, man, we're vibing on real fucking positive karma, man. People tell us, man, you wouldn't believe it, bro. People tell us we saved their, our shit saved their life, man. That's what we're burning on, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, that fuels us, man. That's why we'll never stop, man. I'm fucking wheel my ass out of the wheelchair if I have to rock that bitch, man. Never stop, man. And we got plenty of fucking good fucking dope shit coming out, you know. They're burning on like an envy or something. Like, we don't understand, bro, what, what, why they do the things they do. Like what he said. The, when they first left, they did not want to play the gathering. Like, when they left, we were like, why are you, you know, like, like, okay. They wanted to sever their shit. You like, know we were like, look, okay, what do you think about putting the hatchet? on your shit when you leave. Okay, sever all business ties, all, anything to do with psychopathic at all. Sever it all. Do you sign whoever you want, fucking go do your thing. But this is an elusive club. You know, this is the number, as far as we know, this is the number one symbol that rep rep represents Juggalos. As far as we know, we could be conceited saying that, but I think this is the, the biggest symbol this uh, represents juggalos. And we're like, dog, you guys are leaving. Put this on your shit. Put it on the inside of your shit, you know? Just let people know there's love. And we'll put your logo on our shit to let people know, even though you guys are leaving, there's love. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want to know, there's love. They got the, the shit tatted on them. Right. Big! You know what I'm saying? Fucking human beings, no more fucking important than the, I mean, president ain't no more important than them. You know what I'm saying? These are fucking human lives, man. With these all over their back and shit, like, not two or three, man. Have you seen it? Absolutely. Fucking hundreds, man. With that shit on their legs and fucking everywhere, man. And it's like, you're gonna just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just gonna not give a fuck. Like, do your business. But look, man, this, you know, is where you came from. You know what I'm saying? It's why you wear the paint, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, we fucking... So yeah, I, I, I said it wouldn't get hot. But look, it's just like, we didn't want to break everybody's spirit. You understand what I'm saying? And it's been a constant battle since to preserve that fucking love, man. I mean, like, to, to, to the point where, like, the first couple of years when they broke off and did their thing, they didn't even say Juggalo on stage. You wouldn't say it. You know what I'm saying? They'd say family all they day. They said family, but they, they stopped say saying Juggalo. Juggalo. Like, like we're not saying that. They didn't want to be involved with anything FBI, anything Juggalo. They didn't we asked publicly them. want to be involved with that. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so they could possibly get played on the radio. So they could possibly, so, you know. I know that you pretty much spelled it out, but they've been so heavily ingrained in Juggalo culture for since, what, 90? That we didn't want. We wanted to keep the Juggalos right. happy with So them. what does that... What I don't know that? why they don't embrace it. They are now. They did the right. Juggalo tour or something, but like, why they don't embrace us? What does this mean for 
you're you're basically saying that you're completely severing ties with Magic Ninja. No as more, long as they no got Young Wicked on the roster, we can't fuck with them. No more That's, gathering. No, no more, more. We don't want them there. Okay. We don't want them there. You know, we had a huge argument. Not an argument, but discussion. It wasn't even an argument, but discussion. But no, I, I don't want them there. We don't want them there. You know, I don't want that kind of energy. You know, Twisted Day, ICP Day. Fuck all that, man. No Dark... So we're not going to do Dark Lotus? We're not going to do... First of all... How are you going to not do the Juggalo March, but you're going to do Juggalo Weekend? How does that make any fucking sense? You're going to headline a night? Jugg Juggalo Weekend's a payday. Two, two <laughs> nights. Okay. Two nights, bro. Two nights of Juggalo Weekend. You're going to headline one of them, and you're not going to play the Juggalo March. How, does that even, how are Juggalos even cool with that? How does, why would you even go to see that and love them when they're not playing the March, but they're playing Juggalo Weekend? How's that even make sense to people? We don't even understand it. All right? Well, let's talk about... Th then they said... They, they, they didn't want to get off show on the weekend. They're like, all right, look, fuck Dark... At uh, first, he's like... George is like, people are fucking flying in to see that. People are, are, are traveling to see it. They love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, they love Dark Lotus. They want to hear that album, right? And then we're like... We can't bring ourselves to perform it with you. We can't bring ourselves to share a stage. And they're like, all right, fuck Dark Lotus. Let us play Friday night and you guys play Saturday. It's because... Yeah, it's probably because the fucking payday, man. You know because what I'm saying? It's, because it's a month away, what does that mean for the lineup of Juggalo Weekend? We're, we're going to announce it. It's dope. We already got something. Okay. I don't know if I can announce it. You know what I'm saying? We already got something, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Some fresh ass shit. Last, Some fresh ass thing, dope shit for like, ICP fans, man. The last thing that I think of on this, you know, on this subject of MNE psychopathic stuff, uh, relationship and everything, do you think, do you regret some of the, uh, or all of the business being so publicized? Publicized? Yeah, like, like, like put out to the public, like put out to Juggalos. Is there. Is Look, this is my dream, man. My dream is that, um, like I said, you know, of course we're going to catch the blame, we're going to catch the heat because we're the ones refusing to do it. But they knew that. That's the thing. They did this. They know we're not going to They know us, man. Come on, man. We know each other so well. They know what Otis did to us. They know signing him and dropping in on New Year's Eve was going to break us away. You right. can blame us all day. They know we have pride. They know we have dignity. They, know they knew we, this was going to happen. They, 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 that was their move to make this happen. So, you know, we can take the fault because we're sitting here announcing it. And they were real clever at that. You know what I'm saying? But this, is, this was their move. You know, signing the, 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 the one motherfucker. You got to sign him. You hated him. It just is so gross, bro. They, they knew that, you know, so, we're, yeah, we'll take the fault. Because, you know, we got people that love us and we're, we're happy with that. You know what I'm saying? And um, we don't hate Twisted. You know what I'm saying? We think they're just on a path somewhere that's, that they're not making right moves. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not thinking about, like, of course, you know, we're being blamed. We're going to be blamed for this. But we know that it's because of what they did. You know what I'm saying? We can come out of it with a good conscience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right like, we're not, we don't feel bad about it because we know that we're having dignity for our family and our company. And, you know, they're just pushing us too far. Like, like he said, they, they, they wouldn't play the gathering, you know. They, they, first of all, the first get when they first left, first they wanted a huge amount of money to play the gathering. They didn't want to play the gathering. They wanted to, like, you know, separate. They wanted to do their own thing. You know what I'm saying? So we, had, we were like, man, we're already catching all this heat. People are saying it's the end of psychopathic and all this shit, as if that would ever happen. You know what I'm saying? But um, they're like, um, you know, we're getting all this, hey, you know, we need you at the gathering, you know? So we had to pay them this fucking huge sum of money. You know what I'm saying? To come do it because they didn't want to do it. The next year, they demanded a fucking one of our masters. Okay, if you're in the record business, your masters are the albums you release with that artist. They are they they belong to the record company. The record company funds it all. You see what I'm saying? And that's your album to sell. Just like we don't own the Great Malenko. That is right. owned by Island Def Jam. You know what I'm saying? We can do anything to get that master. We can never get that back. You can ne you never give your masters up. Ever. For anything. You never give your masters up. To get them to do Dark Lotus, the last Dark Lotus album, we had to give them a master. They, they're trying to start a company. They're trying to have catalog to sell. 
You know what I'm saying? And they, they can't get distribution without a catalog. They wouldn't play the they wouldn't play the gathering without a master. They wouldn't do a Dark Lotus without a master. They everything behind the scenes has been a smack in the face over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? And we were cool with that. We just accepted it. But they knew, like dropping off the march and signing him, they knew that would break us. And that's what happened. Well, I hope you don't mind changing subjects. Um, I but, fucking love it. All right, yeah, because we could go all, all right. even deeper. Into the <laughs> anyway, country. just understand we don't hate them. We just think they're fucking on some other right now. We don't understand what they're doing, and it's very hurtful to us to the point where we can't bring ourselves to perform with them. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like we don't want to act like we're buddy buddy. Like we're well, yeah. that. We're right. it's what they've done to us is so fucked up. We can't play that no more. For anybody you know, like it's not real we're not gonna cheat everybody we're not gonna fake the funk you know what i'm saying like david lee roth hating van halen and getting up there and performing every night for the money you know i don't want to see that like like slash and axel rose everybody at that concert watches for any interaction from them you know what i mean because that's what they want to see that they're really down you know i read in rolling stone that fucking axel rose came up and tickled slash that's why they wrote about it because they want to hear about that they love each other you know they want to know they love each other you get what I'm saying, right? Well, we're, us performing with them right now is impossible. It's not real at all. You want to see that? You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. It's totally fucked, man, and we don't understand what they're doing. We have tremendous love for them. We always love them, and we want them to succeed. We want every fucking juggle artist to succeed. Very much so. We want them to succeed, brother. We don't understand what they're doing so much now that it's like the opposite direction of us. You hear what I'm saying? And we're left with no choice. We're just going to part ways. My hope is that three or four years, who knows, 10 years, I don't know. My hope is they'll fucking be done with him and we can reunite and, you know, they'll come back around to thinking, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like, we're hoping one day we'll, it'll, we'll, it'll be back and it'll be right on time. You know what I'm saying? It'll be like, fuck yeah. You know, big celebration. But things are the way they are, man. And, and we had to come out and say it because we're not going to lie. We're not going to let speculation run rampant, you know. Mm -hmm. We're just going to tell you exactly what happened. We don't know why they're doing the things they're doing to us. You know, and, and I'm sure they're angry. It's obvious. Yeah. We don't know why. Okay. Can I tell you something about the misery thing? Sure. All right. Look. Um... This don't have nothing to do with rap. It just it so happens to be between rappers. You know what I'm saying? But uh, Young Wicked, you know what I'm saying? Betrayed his niece. You know, like, brung his nasty ass upon his niece. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way things are done. With us, with them, I totally understand their, their anger. I don't believe that they're killers. Man, they I don't think gonna they, they're not going to kill them. There's, they, that's, you know, the talk, but, you know, that's the shit talk. But they're not ass coming. whipping? Perhaps. They're <laughs> not, yeah, an ass whipping is it definitely probably just do. You know what I'm saying? This would happen if they weren't rappers. You know what I'm saying? If Otis wasn't a rapper and he was hanging with that crew. You see what I'm saying? They would all have to go down. That's the way it works, you know. And I understand that. You know, I'm not, I'm not against misery. I, I, you know, I understand it. You know what I'm saying? That shit, I wanted to beat Otis's ass myself. You know what I'm saying? We got no more love for misery and the Spanish side. That's you know right. Saying? Spanish side and misery, we got, we got love for him, but, um, cause we understand the family thing about it. You understand what I'm saying? It's, it's like by them, by, um, twisted, embracing young wicked, that's like saying, you know, a lot. That's like saying, I'm riding with you. I'm, I'm with you. Fuck whatever they're saying, I'm with you, you know? Mm -hmm. And they might look at it as, as a business thing. I know they do, because George checks me like, how did, you know, on, on, on the Juggle show, how did, how did death threats come up about from a New York rapper, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, first of all, they were calling in to say that nothing would happen at the march because they're like that. They believe in the march too. You know what I'm saying? And they, they wouldn't bring no fight to the march. That's definitely white flag territory. You know what I'm saying? We invited Otis to the march. A and B. Because
because we feel like everybody should have a right to perform at the march, no matter what. Every juggalo group with significant juggalo love should have a right to play it, no matter how we feel about it. Even at that level. If juggalos love him, then he should be there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, misery in Spanish side, understand that. They would never come and, and, and fuck shit up. Besides, if they're gonna do anything, I don't think they'll, I, I don't think it, it'll, I think it'll happen long before the march. You know what I'm saying? If they're gonna be some ass. It ain't like they, got, they ain't got gas money. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying like, that's, I understand that. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I understand where they're coming from. You know what I'm saying? That's, you align yourself, it's the way it is on the streets. Right? You line yourself with a fucking dirty rat bastard and you support him, then you go down with that dirty rat bastard. You know what I'm saying? That's the way the code of the streets. That I understand where they're coming from. You know? Um Do I think Twisted deserves an ass whipping over it? I don't know. It's not it's not my comment to make, you know what I'm saying? I just think, you know, I don't want to perform with Twisted. I know we know that much. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're not looking for him or nothing, you know, or anything like that. Nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? We're not even trying to beat Young Wicked's ass. Although, if I, I probably would if I saw him. But we're not looking for him, you know? We're not going to get him, you know what I'm saying? Nothing like that, you know what I'm saying? But you did say that you wanted to, to mention something about... Huh? When, when Twisted, you said when Twisted is good to you guys, they're really good. Yeah, okay, here's the deal. Like, they, um... First, when they left, they, they wanted you know, a lot of money to play together. They didn't want to play together, they told us. You know what I mean? Um, they refused to do Psychopathic Riders anymore because it's Psychopathic Riders. They, you know, I don't understand that. Like, I, why wouldn't you want to embrace your, right. your past? You know what I'm saying? Like, I got fucking super villain, Dark Low, everything we've ever done. I'm not, I, I love everything we've ever villain. done. Like, you everything know, we've ever been involved with, I fucking love. You know what I'm saying? I don't not like it because, you know, some shit popped off on some sideways shit. But it's that? important that we say that the, the first year they, they went on a lot of money, we paid it. The second year they demanded a master. You know, which you ne just in the music business, you never give your masters. It's the fucking worst thing you can ever do. But we, we felt detrimental that they were at the gathering. The third year, they, I believe they demanded, if I'm, I could be mistaken about this, but I believe they demanded another master and an EP, a master of an EP they put out with us, like a collectible uh, road EP or something. Okay. All right, so two masters, you know, the next year. So after that gathering, was the next one was gonna be 17, Gathering 17. And right away, we secured the location and the date. And we called and we said, look, we are not giving another master. What's your price? You know, are you playing the Gathering? We are, we're done giving you masters. You're not blackmailing us into giving you masters anymore. Are you playing yes or no? And no response. And then we gave him a deadline. We said, we're gonna go public if you don't tell us whether or not you're playing a gathering, you know? Because we have to prepare ourselves and let that news sink in that they're not gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? We have to tell them now. We can't tell them that the month before the gathering. You know what I'm saying? So we were like, um, are you in? Yes or no? What's up? What's your price? We'll, we'll let you know if we can afford it. What's up? And they let the deadline pass. So I wrote a Hatchet Herald and I said, there's a chance Twisted might not be at the gathering next year because they haven't confirmed yet. We haven't been able to contact them, which is insane. It ain't like there's 50 cent and they're so busy we can't fucking reach them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, just tell us what's up. They weren't doing it. So we said, if that so happens, we're going to do this. And we announced what we had planned to do if that don't happen. You know what I mean? And Jamie called me that afternoon. And was like, what the fuck, man? Of course we're playing together. And you, oh, and, and also in the, in the Hatchet Herald, I said, um, knowing that Psychopathic loses money every year in the gathering, which they know all too well. You know what I'm saying? We, we try to bring the thunder, the fucking dopest shit we can. We don't make money. We gain freshness by everybody having a great time and saying thank you, you know, and just a fucking bomb-ass event. That's fresh for the band. It's, it, it's called... Um, Longevity freshness, I guess. <laughs> anyway, we never make money, but last year we broke even and made a little bit of money. And if you're thinking hundreds of thousands, you're dead wrong. <laughs> when I say little, I mean literally a little. But um, we did break even, which was off the fucking hook. 
Anyway, um, and here's why. Because when we told them, when I wrote that Hatchet Herald, I said, if I were twisted, knowing what we've done for their career and that, that Psychopathic loses money every year, not only would I play the gathering every year, but I'd play it for cost. Because we lose money, and they know that. I would be like, man, to, you know, because you guys were so good to us putting us on, you know, and, and, and introducing us to this world, and, and now we got this flourishing career, we're gonna play the gathering for cost every year. We'll just sell our merchandise and for cost, you know? And that's what they did. Exactly what I said in, in the Hatchet Herald. They actually came and played Gathering 17 for cost. So my hat's off to them for that. You know, like that was yeah. super dope. That was like unbelievably dope. That's what enabled us to not to not lose. You see what I'm saying? That and and they, they wouldn't do with they wouldn't do riders, so we were like, how about Wizard of the Hood? You know, and they're like, alright. And we were like, woo, you know, that was sweet, you know. And uh, it turned out to be fucking devastating, you know what I mean? And uh, it was awesome, you know, devastating meaning crazy fresh, you know. And um it's like right after that, you know. So it's just like, like, like they had a meeting, I don't know what happened, and all of a sudden they're like, fuck them again, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It's just like... Yeah, we'd be on the road, and like, you know what I'm saying? We play the same venues and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it's the same thing more of everything. So you hear everything, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's just all getting back to us from multiple sources that, you know, they're like, like just it, people wearing like ICP shit or like Hatchet Man shit, you know, ain't allowed to fucking go and be up here and let do this, or like the fucking DJ, you know, just during the in-between bands, they're not allowed to spin ICP's music whatsoever. You and they talk play. shit. Yeah, and they talk shit to everybody coming they, through. You like, know this has been since they left. Right. You know, we don't care. Like, honestly, don't say it on a record or out loud in public. I mean, in, in like a public forum. But we've been hearing their shit talk forever, bro. Like, we, we it, that's like a small thing. But like, you know, bands that, that toured with them and shit. Like, man, they really fucking hate you guys, you right. know? Come and we're just like, shit. we're just like, you know, whatever, you know. Right, I mean, we just don't shit talk. We're just like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. We don't know what the fuck is up with them. You know? But that's old. That that that's not even nothing like significant. You know what I'm saying? They just running their mouth, whatever. You know, as long as they're not, you know, you know. Just another thing we don't understand. You know what I'm saying? What what the fuck we did to get them to that point to do that? But we appreciate them doing Wizard of the Hood, right? So we were like, look, get rid of Otis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get on the fucking march. Come back on the march. You know, everybody wants you on the march. Play the march. Get rid of Otis. Just, you know, I even went against my partners and I said, just make Otis disappear for right now until 2018. Let us do the march in peace. Let us ride in, in, in this hurricane of diamonds. You know? And they were like, no. And they're no. like, no, no, no. And we're like, let's do Wizard of the Hood together, the 17 tour. You know, Wizard of the Hood. Let's bring it live everywhere. Fucking big ass LED screen. Let's kill it. You know what I mean? Uh, George is like, we like the idea of Wizard of the Hood. No to um, losing Young Wicked and no to the march. And we're just like, all right, no to everything, then, man. We can't fuck with you. You know, we're just begging them. Begging. Yeah, at this point, it's just how much harder can we swing from your nuts? You know what I'm saying? Like begging them, like literally, fucking these long texts where I'm like, sometimes I'm like, how the fuck can you do this to us? Other times I'm like, please, you know, talk to them, consider, you know, it's just all fucking. We're just so happy to be like, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Just let it go, man, and just do our thing and ride. It's, it's just butterflies in my stomach just thinking of that. You know what I'm saying? Like not even looking. Don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Do our thing, bring the thunder for the people that want it. We're there for you. You know what I'm saying? We're fucking bringing the heat too, man. We got a lot of dope shit coming up, man. Yeah. Well, let's speak. Speaking of the stuff coming up, uh, last year you and I talked about this a little bit um, on our interview at the, uh, in the at the at, at your solo tour in Phoenix, right? Um, you mentioned that the four, the image for the fourth Joker's card of the second deck has come to you. Uh, when are you prepared to reveal it? Not for a long time. Okay. Yeah, I know way more about it now. Okay. Crazy more about it. Like, I can't even believe I said that then because I knew so little. I probably shouldn't have said that. Okay. Because I did, I, did, I did know it, but I didn't know anything about it. Mm -hmm. But now I know it thoroughly. It's crazy fresh. In our, in our minds, crazy fresh. But we're talking about probably a, a 
at least another year before we see anything. About no, it. 2018. Okay, 2018. Okay, excellent. Um, we got a lot of thunder coming out I this know, year, right? man. Like we got back to back to back to back shit coming out this year. You know Tell what I mean? About it. We got thunder. We got fucking his solo album, yeah, you know, yeah, it's right. fucking it's insane. That. That's coming out very, very soon. Man. I'm just fucking, wrapping it up right now, you know what I'm saying? Fucking it's ridiculous, thunder, man. man. Just hear him yelling in raps, it's just like passion and freshness, man. When, when I was in Detroit in, in September, you gave me a little, little yeah. taste of it. Yeah. And, uh, and so I wanted to know, um, like, when can we expect it? I think you, you had talked about it being ready for the, in time for juggle. Yeah, but that's just, you know, really yeah. not that feasible. You right. know what I'm saying? But it's that is first quarter of the year for sure. You okay. know, me and Billy were talking about it, you know, just like a couple weeks ago, you know, talking about like setting a date and shit like that. It's just a couple loose ends got to tie up on it, you know what I'm saying? Put a couple more, like, just last finishing touch on this shit, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then we could, like, you know, stamp the date. But it's, it's coming, it's coming for sure, no bullshit. And it's coming fucking hard, you know what I'm saying? Can I give him a little nugget of knowledge about your record? Mate, go ahead. All right. If you don't like it, just tell him to edit it out. Yeah, all right. <laughs> um, you know, we got this thing where, like, um, you know, we, we, we're we going to show support for all our artists on all our records. You know what I'm saying? And so I asked Shaggy, Joey, I was like, are you, are you, um, you know, like, everybody's going to do a family track. The artists on the label. We're all going to do like a family track. Like, used to do back in the day. You know, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Like, Ruthless, like, like. Ruthless Records last song used to be like a family track. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. And um and I was like, are you doing that? Because you know, we're exceptions to the rule. Like a Joker's card we feel might not call for that. You know what I'm saying? If we're not artistically hearing that. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, so I asked him, I said, are, are you uh doing a family track on your record? He said, I want one guest on on my record. You. And I was like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> This is dope, though, man. That, that was fucking fresh, man. Well, how many tracks can we expect? Uh, it's looking like it's probably going to be, like, with the intro, like, 14, like 13 actual tracks. You okay. know what I'm saying? So it's a really solid fucking record. You know what I'm saying? Did it's you, not going to be, like, too much, and it's going to be far from, you know, just putting out, like, fucking eight songs and calling it a record. You know what I'm saying? Was there a mixture of producers that you used for the record? No, not at all. Uh, um, the very beginning of it, uh, it was uh, me and Otis producing it, you know what I'm saying, of course, you know, yeah, you sure. know what the fuck happened with that, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that, you know, just another fucking blow to the fucking gut, he became, yeah, fuck you, he right? became you possessed, <laughs> and then, then uh, now it's me and Clay, you know what okay. I'm saying, so, but it's, it's, you know, and they're like, making the beats from scratch, man, yeah, it's, it's like, you know, there's a couple on there where, where like, you know, like, Clay, like, comes with something, then we'll take it, and then, but we'll just, like, you know, just lace it up even, like, ten times better, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, it's all hands-on. You know what I'm saying? Produced by me and Clay, you know what I'm saying? But it's, yeah, it's, it's turned out crazy good. Um, you know, I, I said that I was going to do the Karma Forest record. Yeah, you know? so I was going to ask you about and, that next. Um, you know, honestly, this other fucking idea just came to me, and I want to do it first. You know what I'm saying? And it's called, um, it's either called an American Life or American Lives. You okay. know, I keep going back between the two. But anyway, it's a, it's a project that, that features um, the, the Hatchet family. You know what I'm saying? Like a themed record? Yeah, it's yeah. it's very much like, was it, I'll tell you straight up, it's very much like Wizard of the Hood, except it's re reality. You know, and I know people like the fantasy stuff from us, you know what I'm saying? Sure. But this is where artistically, I got this super fucking drive to do this record. You know what I'm saying? It's called In American Life or American Lives. Okay. You know, and it's, it's reality driven. It's very cool. Very, very, very much like Wizard of the Hood. You know, in the mm -hmm. story sense, right? But it involves the entire Hatchet family. You know, playing different roles. Very cool. I think it's cool. So obviously, you're working on your solo record right now. Are, are you working on anything musically other than the American Lives? Um, I just got the cipher done. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm about to like immediately start on that. Okay. Like immediately, immediately. I got tracks for it. You know, we have a new producer we just hired. His name is Domain. And he's fucking dope. And he's super cool. What a connection, man. What a fucking dope connection. Like, instantly. And super that, dope. Pick up Straight Jacket. Yeah. Pick out, we have Straight Jacket. Super dope. You know what I mean? Like, you know, locking in place. Like, the thing is, as psychopathic right now, man, there's just so much positive freshness. Like, everybody's so proud to be there. Like, you know, there's a lot of young ninjas that are, like, super appreciative and super fucking grateful. And that makes us feel good. And the energy in the whole building is just like, yeah. you know, we, um, 
took all our fucking pictures down and we got all these new fucking fresh pictures coming up of everybody, you know, on all the walls and shit. Like, next time you come by, bro, you'll see it's like, we're beaming, man. Like, for real, we're beaming, man. You know, if, if we're entertaining people for years and years, like I was saying in the beginning, I lost track of my thought, but I was saying, like, I could see the age in my face. If we're doing this for life, how about a year of freshness? You know what I'm saying? How about a year of fucking positivity, you know? Hurricane of Diamonds, you know, like, ping, ping. You know, shine and, you know, change your life for the better, you know? And if, when you look back on that year, if you liked it or you didn't, you're going to remember it. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something different. We're in that year right now. We're in it. Let's enjoy it, man. Let's yeah. fucking school it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch the infomercial, man. Like, get what it's trying to say. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, you know, that don't mean all the music coming out is going to be all happy, friendly. You know, our music is our music. But... Let's live our lives fresh style, man. You know what I'm saying? Like all of us, all juggles. And let's march. Let's fucking everything. Man. It's just a good, 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 very happy with psychopathic right now. Um, do you think that we can expect any uh, work with uh, with Mikey Clark in the future? Or is that awkward? Yeah, awkward. we're already talking to him. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we're talking to him. We have a fucking group coming out. I can't tell you about it. <laughs> it's dope, though, man. It's like, okay, when you hear about the group, you might be like, Ah, whatever, you know, but when you hear it, it's gonna fuck you up, man. Like, we're doing something so cool. Like, I'm telling you, like, creatively, we're killing it, bro. Like, nothing's come out yet. But, like, creatively, man. Mark, Mark, Mark Clark's been with us since day one, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we ain't never gonna not work with him. He, you know left, he left making beats. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he went, he went and became he, Kid, Kid Rock's, Rock. um, um, what is it? Billy? Sound engineer. Monitor engineer. Monitor engineer? Yeah, he did that. He's been doing that, traveling with Kid Rock. Well, that's good to hear that you're still working. So, you mentioned the, the group. Are, are you, this group that you're talking about, is it something that you guys are both in, or is it a group that you're signing on and you've already signed No, on? it's a group um, we're doing. Okay. Okay? There was a group we were talking to and we're still talking to, but they don't like the drama going on right now they want to wait for it to pass okay. you know and it's gonna pass because we're not gonna give a fuck what they're doing you know what I'm saying we're gonna keep we keep shining doing our thing like we're going in two different directions you know so the only way the drama ever surfaces or is there it's not on our behalf you know what I'm saying yeah, we're not gonna it's coming in our door it's not we're not gonna be out fucking door. talking shit you know nothing like that we're just gonna go about our business you know what I mean you know they take little jabs jabs at us you know what I mean Whatever. we took a couple little jabs before it all cracked you know, and we're done. We're just, we're done. So, Psychopathic just signed Light. Mm -hmm. And um, he's off the hook. Yeah, man. Crazy Blown fresh. Away from, from the cypher today. I'll see you soon. Yeah, that's um, my boy, man. Are he's so finished? fucking proud, man. He makes us, feel, makes us happy, feel good and shit, man. He's just dope. Him, Becky, fucking Hoodoo. Mm -hmm. So happy and proud. All of them, you know what I'm saying? And just like, our producers are just like, you know, super, this makes me feel fucking real good. It's about got a Clay back in the fucking... Yeah, dude. Clay, oh, Killer, shit, Killer. Killer fucking... Everybody signed new contracts, three, three album you. deals, you know what I'm saying? Excellent. Like, Excellent. down the ride. Like, we talked to everybody, like, look, we're not doing some old separate shit. Like, we're riding tight together, you know what I'm saying? And we're riding. Like, we're going to do ciphers all the time. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do everything together, man. We're riding. We're riding tight. We're, like, in... Is Psychopathic finished signing artists at the moment? No. Okay. We probably want one more, and then that's that group. If we don't get that group, we'll go for one more. We'll find somebody, you know what I'm saying? But this group is super dope. You know what I'm saying? It's like we want to land them. If we can't land them, we understand, because they, they have every potential. Look at today's world. You can do it yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'd love to have them, but at the same time, they can do it themselves. In today, Everybody can do it themselves, you know, in today's world. So, I mean, just fucking put your shit on iTunes. There it is. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Make a video with your iPhone and edit it. You know? <laughs> right, right. You're done. Mm -hmm. There's no reason. Like, our whole building is fucking obsolete. <laughs> it's oh, just the way. rooms being used. Yeah, uh -huh. It's just the way we like to operate. A lot of more hangout rooms up in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. So, with, uh, with the Great Malenko's 20 year anniversary being, I guess, this year, uh, there, are there any plans to tour it? Like, yeah. in the real box? Yeah. Okay. No more details on that? Uh, they're in it right okay. now. Okay. Yeah, we're doing a 17 tour coming up. Okay. Can yeah. you tell us about that? It's going to be fat. Yeah. It's going to be dope, <laughs> man. It's going to be fucking... Yeah, it's going to be nice. We got some tour, fucking sweet-ass names on that bitch. Okay. 
Yeah, it, we just never know. With, with the Riddle Box that we've been doing, we're playing all fucking smaller, like yes. more intimate shit. This shit's gonna be a big. The 17 tour is gonna be a regular. It's gonna be a nice, big, fat ass. Not show. that we're playing arenas. Right, right. Exactly. Right. We're not gonna be in the, in the small clubs when we were in on the Riddle Box. Right. Um, so tell us about your invites to play uh, festivals like Rock Fest and Hemp Fest. You, you got some. We have a fucking agent dude. Okay. You know what I mean? That, that, that's working for Psychopathic. You know, we got a we got a new merch deal coming up. Um, this everything's made to order. You know what I'm saying? So nobody can you know. It's not we're out of stock. You know, we'd like something else. You know, we, that's all like old school the way shit was ran. It's not the way shit is done no more. You know what I'm saying? We got a deal in Europe and in, in the United States where everything made to order. You know, you'll never be out of stock. Anything you want, you know, pew, right, right to you. You wow. know, they gotta wait for somebody to make it and ship it to us. Then us to ship it to you. you know yeah, we don't have to do it. We don't have to order. You know, five five X's. Five, four X's, five, three, and yeah. <laughs> wait for that shit to fucking, you know, it don't work like that no more. It's like now, you know, you know, whatever size you are, whatever design you want, they got shit that'll, <laughs> you know, this is the way it works now, you know, so we're geeked about that. And we, and we, and we had a good time on a couple festivals we did, you know, especially one in Canada. It was yeah, fucking, outside of yeah. Montreal, it, was it was just so great, great, man. We're used to like every, every experience we had with festivals, it's always like pack of juggles up front. And the rest of the crowd like this, you know, but it wasn't like that. It was like everybody was just giving it up, and you know. Number one, we went out at one o'clock in the afternoon. And we're so thinking, already we're like, this yeah, we were like, we got the like, ultimate host slot, you know. Yeah, there's everybody there. sleeping. No, ten thousand fucking people as far back as you can see. We're like, put your hands in the air, every one of them, like you know. It was just really awesome experience, you know. So we're like the whole crowd. It was like whoa. And you know, he's like the end. This, this agency guy, this agent is like super dope, and he's like. The industry is just different now. It is different. You know that, right? Sure. Like, look at Tech Nine. Look at him on MTV and on the radio. Juggalos ain't mad at him. You know what I'm saying? Like that back in our day, if we would have been on that shit. They'd have fucking killed us. They, they fucking bomb the radio trucks when they pull up to sponsor our shows. They fucking throw Fago at the guy. Boom off stage. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, Chance. Like that ain't like that no more. You know, like it's different now because YouTube is bigger than MTV now. YouTube is now the fucking, um, what is it called, Monopoly. You see what I'm saying? And there are no program directors on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So MTV is much more insignificant now. You know what I'm saying? So like, who cares what they're spending? When's the last time they play music anyway, right? Right, you know, so a lot, like the, the, the lines between a sellout and not being a sellout have like pretty much disappeared. They're, it's just different nowadays, mm -hmm. you know? So you can, you guys can play Canada and other uh, other places other than the United States. Yeah. Are there any plans on going back over to Europe? Um, yeah, it just doesn't feel like there's. A yeah, we, we haven't really talked about it. You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's not out of Australia. Australia. Definitely. Oh yeah, no question. Definitely. No question. But, you know, it, it's not out of the out of the realm. No, of yeah, it, you know, we'd like saying, to knock them both out probably. You know what I'm saying? It's just the issue of time. It's like fuck, man. Like we're so fucking busy. It's like just thinking about that shit is like. Taxing, like how how are we gonna do that? Like you know what I'm saying? Like we got so much lined up. Da, 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 da. It's just like fuck, man. I feel you. That's why people are always like, man, you guys should go to Japan. You know, we're thinking, when the fuck would we do that? You know, I don't we do that every year. It's like back to back fucking shit going on. It's like how how can we do that? Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the uh, the Dark Carnival Game Con that's coming up? <laughs> awesome, man. That, fucking great. I don't want to fucking uh. Keep, what is it? I don't want to jock ourselves, but who the fuck can have a game con? <laughs> what other band in the world can have a game con? Mm -hmm. Nobody. You know, that's dope. I'm proud of that. Like, epically proud of that. You know, and what I'm epically proud of is Juggalos Against Sanity. Fucking. Wait for that. When you right. play that motherfucker, right. you realize how fucking big the Juggalo world really is. Like, when you get the jokes and shit. It's just, think about this. Cards Against Humanity, when you buy the regular game, there's like a, a, an amount of cards. They're talking about pop culture. Everything. Mm -hmm. Juggalos Against Sanity is talking about just Juggalos. The Juggalo world, there's more cards. Okay, and an wow, expansion okay. set coming. Yeah. And a JCW expansion set coming. I mean, like, think about that. That's how much shit. You know, yeah, it's right. just fucking great, man. For the uh, for the DCG comp, forty bucks, three days. 
Two after parties, holy concerts, shit. Yeah. fucking um, everything, um, fucking. We're gonna be gaming. We're gonna be getting right, it in, right. man. It's gonna be fucking epic, man. It's just gonna be great. That's what I'm talking about, man. Like we're gonna keep it moving. You know what I mean? Like with bomb ass fucking events and bomb ass shit tours, music, man. We're gonna do what we love. Uh-huh. Fucking you. I'll slap you in the back of the neck. <laughs> man, don't slap me in the back of the neck. How many albums from Psychopathic do you think we can expect this year? We can expect. Fuck the fuck off, motherfucker. And uh, we got light on deck, light. We got light on deck, Blase Rose on deck, my shit on deck, Clay on deck, you know what I'm saying? And American Lives. Right. Um yes. the group. What is that? Six? Yeah, something. Yeah, like that. that's all trying to fucking come out. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like like seriously, like in current production style. You know what I mean? Like we got thunder coming. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, just the onslaught of freshness, you know? And you know, like the, the people on the internet that, that fucking talk shit about Blase Rose, just know she's very successful. That's what don't make sense, bro. You get it? Yeah. It's crazy. It's fresh. We're very proud of her. We stick by her. You know what I mean? Um, she's very successful at the same time. So how how does that even work? I don't yeah, know. We don't. We know that haters on the internet control what the fuck we do. You know what I'm right. saying? You know, we're not. We're not living we're by we, what we, the we, trolls we're are right. saying. We we're, don't we're even look at. We'll give you some more shit to hate on if you want. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> so fucking misleading. You know, like everything will be going this way, and in reality, things are going this way. It's like I said. You know, first night of the tour, she got a family chant. We're telling her, be careful. You know, they're probably gonna whip shit at you because we don't know. You know. Then we did an investigation, a long one into what that is. Who? What's going on? And it's just very, not, not. It's very misleading. You know what I'm saying? Very. What's said on the internet versus what is actually happening. It's happening in the juggle world. Right, That's right. right. What do you? Uh, what is that you hope Psychopathic um, accomplishes as a label in the next five, ten years? Fuck, man, keep on moving. Make as many Juggalos happy as we can. Keep this Juggalo fucking thing going and rolling. I, I'd rolling. like. I'd like to see it's Juggalos. Concerned. I'd like to see Juggalos get a fucking better reputation. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Like, see Juggalos get the fucking props they deserve for, for fucking being as supportive as they are, as fucking driven as they are, as fucking, you know, how they discover these groups. and, and Always to keep this shit moving for them, you know what I'm saying? It's like, and we want to entertain them, man. We always want to entertain them. Like, I like to see it grow. I like to see more motherfuckers come along. I love seeing young faces in, in the fucking crowd. This girl came up to me at the bar and she was like, I'm one of your biggest fans. I'm like, what? How old are you? She's like 21. I'm like... Fuck out of here, you don't even know our don't shit. Know. She lifted up her fucking sh- short, showed me her fine ass fucking thigh, big ass tattoo of me and Joy. I'm like, what? She t- you know what I'm saying? I love that shit, man. That was like, fucking, that's dope. And when we tour, look at the crowd, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. Young you people. See third generation juggalos. Yeah. Like, that's great for us, you know what I'm saying? That's like very cool, you know what I'm saying? I love old juggalos, young juggalos. I just want to oh, keep doing what we're doing, man. Really, honestly, keep it rolling, man. I don't want no tragedy or nothing, you know? Yeah. Fucking keep it rolling, man. Let's ride it out. You know, I brought this my is... kid to his first show a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Keep we're moving. Yeah, yeah. We are fucking definitely trying to keep people entertained and trying to, you know, this is, we're living our dream, bro. Dark days behind us, number light. You know what I'm saying? On, on, the, on the horizon. I just you know don't want to stop, man. I don't want to fucking. I don't want to stop, man. I just want to keep rolling, man. I just want to fucking. I'm, I'm, you know, time is very scary to, to me, you know what I'm saying? Because time always catches up to you, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It's like more powerful than anything. But that's a whole other dis- discussion. Yeah. Man, 17 is here, man. 17, you know get your 17 on, man. I mean, come on, man. Like, get your 17 on, man. Let's you know get it, you know what I'm saying? Let's do it right and let's do it big, you know? <laughs> Everybody. Let's fucking ride this out, man. Let's fucking march, you know what I'm saying? And, and uh, I don't give a fuck if you're not affected by it, you know? People are. That gives us a reason to march, you know? Let's care about our fucking, this bomb-ass subculture that, that has evolved. Let's give a fuck about it, man. Absolutely. Let's make some history. Let's get some props. You know, let's go down on the books. You know, we're fucking... Be a part of it. Believe man. me, man. You if you're a juggalo out there... The if you're a juggalo out there, you can go in America, all right, and walk around, and people will be like, are them really juggalos? I'm telling you. Yeah, I know. They'll be like, are they, those real juggalos? I've heard so much about them, man. What the fuck? That's the kind of notoriety we got, man. That's dope. Right? Agreed, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm saying, let's make us the shit. All right. Well, Juggalos, that's going to wrap it up. 
Uh, thank you guys so much for sitting down and doing this and answering a ton of questions. Hell um, yeah. So uh, until next time, this is Scotty D with uh, no, homie. Violent J. Keep 17 in. And we're out. We're going to keep beaming. Beaming. Excellent. Word. Yay, yay.